we're starting a uh, a new Star Sector run. This may only be one stream. That's all I'm going to start off with that. But I typically have the troubles with, with playing lots and lots of this, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, we have a new update. Uh, point nine six is out. And with each update, it's always something big. And so we're starting over. And uh, we're going we're gonna to try something a little different this time. So let's start up a new game here. And if you're not familiar with Star Sector, I should start this off. Uh, it's, it's like a mountain blade in space. It has this real-time combat system, though. Uh, the sort of open world sandbox thing, do whatever you want. And that's kind of how I've always played the game. I built a fleet, did kind of whatever I want. And I think today I want to do something a little more storyline. And there was some story things I know added in this update. And so we're going to do some of those storyline things, I think, today. We're going to be, um, oh, who do you want to be? Let's, let's be, uh, let's be this guy here with the eye patch. His name is, uh... Wobo Starpath is the name of this guy's name, and he is Captain Wobo Starpath. We're going to go with a small galaxy. We'll leave it as a, mis uh, a mixed bag of, of stars and all that. Most recent occupation for a Wobo Starpath. Um, I, I typically like starting out like very bare minimum and, and, and working my way up, you know, in, in the, into the space business. I think today, though, we're going to start out with a, a bit of a fleet. We're going to be a mercenary. We're going to begin with a, um, a hammerhead class destroyer and a small fleet and a tanker and all that kind of stuff. Here's what I want to do. Uh, I, I I really like small ships. There's different ways of playing this game, and I really like the small wolf pack style of ships and fleets. I'm going to try to go big ships this time in addition to other things. So there's our ships we get to begin with with our, with our fleet, and we're going to skip the tutorial. And I'm going to take the bulk transport so I can carry more stuff as my start. So, let's jump into the game here and um, get on with our mission. And our mission is involves the Ludic Church. Now, there's been some missions, some story missions added in the game. And I want to go explore those story missions. So, welcome to the Jung Jungala. Uh, uh, system. I guess it's Jingala system. The Corvus system, the Jingala planets. I'll give a little tour of the game for those of you who are not familiar with it. Um, here's my fleet. We've got my uh, my fleet of ships. I am flying with my eye patch. I'm flying that one, Dark Matters. We've got the hyperspace dreaming with me. We got light years, seven thousand light years. We got the Cosmosis and my fuel tanker, Venusian. All my supplies are over this way. We've got some uh, junk on board like crew and things to manage this this fleet um for the most part i should start this off if you're not familiar with with the game um it really just throws you in the deep end and you can do whatever you want it's very open-ended so we could go to jungal and get some missions we could just sort of run around and do some scavenging we can go and and just shoot things and shoot pirates or whatever we can go and join in one of the factions and become one of the faction uh work for one of the factions we can go and make our own faction uh, and make our own planets, and colonize our own planets, build our own fleets. Um, it's, it's all here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the Canaan system. Because the Ludic Church is over there. And we've decided that we're going to go and join the Ludic Church. And we're going to go and do some of the Ludic Church story paths. I've played this game a million times. I've played hours and hours and hours of, of time in this game. It's most of it's on my channel. And I've never really done any story missions. I've always just sort of gone and done my own thing. And uh but not today. Today we head out into space. We join the church and we build ourselves a fleet with big ships. Maybe, maybe. So let's turn off the old transponder here and head on out uh this way. Space left. Yeah, junk on board like crew and stuff, you know. <laughs> so away we go. Uh, as we pass these systems, we we'll get some reports and news and all that kind of stuff coming in, and we can take those. Those are those are requests or uh, um, uh, I guess quests. It's intel, like go kill this guy, go re go go scan this world, that kind of stuff. And uh, we can do that, but but no, we got a mission in mind today. We got, we got, we are we are we know what we're doing. Uh, so let me tell you. Everything I know about halflings, uh, very little. 
I'm gonna order a jump to God. I told that one kind of poorly, I'm sorry. Let me tell you what I know about halflings. Very little. There you go, there's the joke. There's the dad joke, I'm sorry. I ruined that dad joke. I feel like I owe you another one. Okay, here's dad joke number two. What do you call an old, frail wizard who's never worn shoes and is cursed with bad breath? A super calloused, fragile mystic hexed by halitosis. All right, let's jump to God. All right, so we're in Canaan here. We're going to go head over here to Gilead and uh, have a chat with Gilead. <laughs> Was that one better? Is that better than the first one? I hope so. <clears throat> things to keep my eye on here. We've got we got supplies, which is basically just things to keep my my ship in in normal operating procedures. Uh, whatever. Uh, we've got fuel, uh, which is there. You know, we need that to fly around. And um, well, we'll see. We're gonna go, we're going all uh, religious today. We're joining the church, and they're gonna give us some missions, and we're gonna go and do those missions. And that's that's the goal today. So we approach Gilead Station. Hello, Gilead Station. There's a shrine here. Well, let's go and uh, let's join some pilgrims visiting the Lilic Shrine. This is our quest. We're going to go visit some shrines today. Deorbiting the surface of Gilead is strictly overseen by the Knights of Lud. Your shuttle must queue behind a flotilla of lumbering transports and haulers filled with approved industrial goods. This provides you with time to contemplate the face of Gilead. Its continents, once fringed only by alien algae equivalents, were seeded with Earth life by a far roving spore ship of the second wave of human expansion. Exciting. Shuttle receives a ping from traffic control. Permission to descent. The landing bay, one of the uh, one of one of a score or so allocated to outsiders, is packed with parties of Lydic pilgrims dressed in traditional hand weave, led by robed attendants. One such stony faced attendant meets your shuttle on the pad and wastes no time. Firmly but politely inquires about your business here. I'm here to see the shrine. He dutifully explains that the shrine commemorates the holy site where Lud first stepped onto Gilead and was brought prostrate to the shock of non believers to kiss the earth itself. So overcome was Lud by the rapturous touch of divinity. His influence spread by its own evident virtue, the attendant explains. The uh, industrial terraforming machines were brought down and flowers bloomed in the rubble. Amazing. It's an appealing morality tale delivered earnestly. Mega corporation, all that kind of stuff. Let's go visit the shrine. It's going to be a little wordy here to start off with because we're following some story things, okay? Normally I skip this stuff, but we're, today we're reading it. The attendant nods, explains that you must leave your guards behind because this is a place of peace. And all are equal on the pilgrim's path. The request is an implied request for keeping up appearances. A couple of your guards, unarmed and trained for situations requiring this degree of subtlety, attend to your safety as per matter of course. You note other unusually small parties of pilgrims, plainly but clearly wealthy by their cut and carriage, led by their own shrine attendants and accompanied by unusually muscled distant cousins. <laughs> Nonetheless, the crowd's filing out of the transport complex on a filing filing out on the wide highway of a beaten earth and cobble are enormous let's walk the path the path of pilgrims leads to a slope covered in trees more enormous than you've seen before small on scale compared to the celestial phenomena that is your daily bread their living architecture forms a natural cathedral dispassionate lights of knights of blood watch as attendant shuttle you through a cordoned path and an arc through the final grove of mighty sequoia analogs atop the promet promontory at the terminus of the ridge. It's a temple. Let's walk to the shrine. You have only a brief moment before the high altar of living wood. Small tokens and offerings are piled high amongst low, cheap candles. I have visited the shrine. I love it. My life is changed, I think. I have a path in front of me. And in a moment, it passes. It's hot. You're in a large and sweaty crowd full of pilgrims all wrapped around you, lost in their own worship. The attendants do their best to herd the masses along the main pathway. You must push through the groups calling and crying and singing and praying. Return to the shaded halls of the transport complex. You notice a young novice watching you as you accidentally meet their eyes. Their smile widens. Target acquired. They approach keen on proselytizing the spacer captain. These enthusiastic missionaries are a common enough affliction of space docks. 
so you are not unprepared. As they first draw breath to speak, you seize the initiative, initiative and say... So, what I understand, with, I haven't done this quest before, but from what I understand, you can you can do this quest a couple different ways. It's a very open-ended kind of thing, kind of game, right? Um, we can choose to, like, follow their religion and, like, be a believer, or we can just go without, you know, not, uh, um, I, uh, um, if I'm, I'm not a part of the path. I just want to see things, you know? Hey, Jeff, how's it going? But today we're going all in. We're going all, we're donning the robes. We're getting sweaty. We're going in and, um, looking at some shrines. I have felt myself drawn to the path. Oh, praise Lud. The novice exclaims that you may be so drawn to spiritual salvation. Walker, may I pray with you for a safe journey through the holy vacuum? I'll join you in prayer. You join the novice in prayer, repeating the words as best you can with hands clasped. At first, it feels silly to partake in this naive ritual led by a cloistered child of the church. It's like a lamb leading, to the, lo leading the lion. Yet, perhaps there's value in unblushing faith held by such innocence. Uh... Well, when the thing finishes, the novice smiles at me, and behind I notice the uh, the curate Sancraria, the, the head dude. Hello, Winter Baytax. As if on cue, or perhaps because they were hovering nearby the whole time, the curate of the shrine steps up to you and, and the novice. Blessings, Praise. blessed faith of the young. The curate dismisses the novice with a nod. Forthright, and I'm afraid, tactless. My name is Winter Baytax. And I'm entrusted with the care of this shrine. I felt called to personally welcome you, Captain. So you can say I'm not a pilgrim. I'm just I'm just here to see the shrine. But no. Uh, it's good to finally talk to an adult. <laughs> um, blessings be. He smiles a little. You speak already as if you walk among the faithful. But as Lud said, the truth of words is revealed by where stands the speaker. It is my calling to serve the pilgrims who come here. A pause. And also those who are not pilgrims. She looked expectantly at you, her silence asking which one you are, pilgrim or not. Um, I'd like to consider myself a pilgrim. Pilgrim. And you may rest certain that you have come to the right place. She clears her throat, gives a practice speech taken together. These shrines form the pilgrim's path. This is our quest. It's not merely a linear path through space, though, of course. She takes a patient tone. In secular, you... Use the name has been given in secular use. The name has been given to the major shipping lanes between church hege hegemony controlled volumes. Uh, the path is a spiritual journey unique to each individual as they explore and discover their faith through our shared teachings. I should describe, I should say some things um, for those of you who are not familiar with Star Sector. This is just like, this is not like a main quest or anything. This is just a faction specific quest. Um, it's think of it as like a, I guess like a, a a big side quest, I guess, in the game. There's there's not really a main quest. This is just something we're just sort of joint jumping into. And as the game develops, more of these things are popping up. And with this new update, um, the Ludic Church got some updates to its to its quest chain. And so that's what we're trying to explore today and see what what it's all about. So typically, I would not be all in on the storyline quest missions, but I, that's I thought we'd try something different today, and. Um, jump in on the storyline stuff and, and rather than explore the open world we're exploring the the closed world um, anyway it's a spiritual journey how, how many shrines are there uh, Gilead, Jangala, Hesperus handful she says some have been lost over the years opuses of, Opus, of course and others sanctified anew there is Beholder station uh, there's militant effects all around there there was possibly a shrine at Killa it's a dangerous place uh, the fest with the pirates. Well, I'd like to make a pilgrimage to each of those shrines. Yeah, the holy steering wheel. She smiles. Then let me be first to welcome you on your first step of the pilgrim's path. You'll experience wonders both beautiful and terrible, great and small, of human and natural aspects of creation. Some unbelievers, I am told, have inadvertently found their faith while walking the pilgrim's path, she shrugs. Providence works in ways mysterious to us. Uh, here, Captain, let me upload to you the coordinates for all these known shrines. There you go. Okay, so we have we have five shrines to go and investigate. My thanks, she says humbly. Um, and now I know where to avoid. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
Um, no, thank you. I have a journey to begin. All right. She's very. She motions a sign of blessings as you take your first step on this pilgrim's path. All right. So let's go visit the. Uh, let's go visit the bar. And uh, oh, not really anyone here. Okay. Um, a lot of this stuff is kind of randomized each time. I um, sometimes you get quests to send people around, but we can get one today. We can go visit the market here and and buy some things. Let's take a look at our map though, and see where this stuff is. So we have a shrine at Beholder Station, which is here in Kamari, which is uh, at a Ludic Path uh, place. Ludic Path, we don't like them so much. Um, there, we have a problem with them. Uh, they have a problem with us, I should say. Uh, Aos Exodus is also is run by the church. We can go to that one pretty easily. Which place is that at? At Hesperus? Yeah, we can go there real easy. Jengala, we were there before. We know how to get there. Uh, Killa is way up that way, and it is at... We don't know where it is, actually. It may be in the pirate's place or whatever. Uh, and then we got one at... Uh, where is that one at? At Volturn? I'm not sure where that one's actually pointing me to. Yeah, that one, in Asconia. Uh, which also is under Sindrian. Sindrian also got some new quest lines as well. I thought it'd be more interesting to try the, 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 the shrine or the path one. Not path, church, church. So our job is to go visit the six Ludic shrines. We visited one, so let's go to the next one. Um, we can go over here to Kamari, but that's part of the Ludic path. I'm not sure we want to go there just yet. We can go down here to um, Hesperus pretty easily. We went on vacation today, you know? Um, but while we're here, we've got some cargo space. We might as well, you know, Make a business out of it. Uh, we'll go ahead and gas up while we're here. I got 50 grand. That's 14,000 just to fill up there. Uh, let's go see if they've got anything that they want in Hesper. Oh, look at that. I know this is where we lose money going there. Let's go find some place that has something expensive. Oh, look at that. We can go sell some Marines up here at the Pirate, at the, uh, the Lodic Path station. If we could get in there. Um, if we got something going down to. See, we got one going where we're going here. Uh, the Gilead, that's the, that's, oh, that's here. Well, that's too much, that's so good. Um, none of that stuff. What about, what about these? Mm, nothing over there. Yeah, they didn't say it couldn't be a trade path. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we got nothing really going our way. Uh, that's, that's, that's no good. We buy it for 44, we sell for 35. That's not how you make busy, how you make business. Uh, how you make busy, how you make money. That's not how you make money. Um, oh, we could take this over to, oh, look at that, we could buy these guys right now, and then ship them over to Asher, which is in the same system, and make, and make some money. I'll take some Marines and just haul them over there. That's, that's business. We'll just jump over there real quick. Um, those are too much. Anything else? It's in the same system? I didn't look over there. I didn't look at that one. Too much, and... Yeah, so we'll, we'll just drop these things off. What is that? Mortars? So yeah, we'll, we'll take some Marines over there, and uh, we'll make a little cash on our way out. I probably could be a little supplies, but I think it's okay. It works with controller for this game. Do you think it's practical for it? It probably is. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. Um, I think it'd be fine on... Um, like, especially in combat. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we are heading up to uh, to Asher. So let's go ahead back up here to Asher and drop this stuff off. Make a little cash. So, several different factions in the game. The, we are going to follow the Ludic Church today. Uh, the Ludic Path is a little more extreme. We'll put it that way. Uh, Hegemony are like the space cops. We've got Tritachion are the, the tech people. Um, I don't remember what Sindrian and Persian League's things are. I forget what they're... What, how you describe them best. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out here in, in time. But we are on Asher, a apocalyptic dust storms around here. So we're going to go and go to the, uh, go here and drop these Marines off. And make... Did I make any money? I don't think I made any money because of, of taxes. I think I bought them for that much. So we can go to the black market and sell them. It's not, like, ideal, because we'll have some troubles with that, but, but you know what. Um, I should check the other place. I wasn't going to do black market so much, but, you know, you got to make a buck one way or another. Uh, we're going to, uh, where, what was that place? Something with an H. 
Uh, not that one. Just checking some prices here before we before we head out. Hesperus, that's not it. That's no good. Hesperus, Hesperus. Hesperus wants some uh, organs. I've done a... Uh, typically, I, I, I go with, like, the lemonade, you know, um, just because in, like, a small little smuggler ship, usually good money. But we're going to be on the up and up today. As I look at... <laughs> as I'm shopping the black market. <laughs> I mean, up and up. Mostly. It's a really good... Uh, I, I Last time we played, I made some good money uh, going in and, and just getting some big hauler ships and moving some things around that way. But, okay. Let's go... Uh, well, we'll see who's at, the, who's at the bar. A rakish woman. What she wants? Ah, she's a pirate. We have the item over here to, to Bell. For 73 grand. This is the... 73,000 credits. Don't be seen making the drop. Don't tell anyone about it. No, you know, we're not in that kind of business today. This day, we're going to be the good guys. Okay? Everyone keep me uh, keep me honest here. Hesperus is where we're hitting. Let's get out of here. There's a hegemony. Yeah, ludicrous speed. Exactly. Hey, Master, thank you very much. I know, the lemonade lure is, is strong. Yeah, I stashed it in my robes. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head out here. A lot of people ask me about this. If you hold S, you will slow down and not get hit by those storms. More quests coming in here, but this is a pretty close, pretty close drop. Uh, don't, uh, okay. Hostile. Oh, the Lodic Path is there. Okay, so we're gonna go to Hesperus. Um, are they? Uh, they're not gonna... They may come after me, but I don't think there's a fight going on right now. Bounty Hunter. So the church is fine. The path ain't so fine. And I think we can get some faction stuff here. So the path is... We're hostile with the path. We're hostile with pirates. Everyone else is fine. Um, we don't mind any, anyone else. Also, independent. I forgot. Those are the other folks. Um, and you can get a read up on this thing. And there's a big story kind of... There, there's like a background story through all this. So, which, which, which becomes a lot more apparent, I think, later on as you get in the game. Um, anyway, we're going to go visit the shrine. Um, just begin to make your way to the, towards the shuttle and you receive a ping from your nav officer. The request to land has been denied by traffic control. Strange, this be, should be perfectly routine. Uh, tr try again. Affirmative, Nav says. A moment's pause. Captain, I have traffic control on comms. Nav patches you into the comm loop, and a young-looking Ludic knight, probably initiate, appears before you. Blessed for the day, Captain. They just managed to hide the quaver in their voice. With apologies, your request to land has been denied. As you draw a breath to reply, the initiate's eyes flick to a notification and go wide. Apologies, Captain. I mean, respectfully, uh, the excubitor... Ex ex Orbis wishes to speak with you. They say without stumbling on the title. Practice, you're sure. Mm -hmm. Hello. He appears, uh, Gideon. Captain Wobo Starpath, he says by way of greeting. A stern gaze already fixed on you. Moment draws longer. He is the image of poise, perfectly content to wait for you to speak. I wrink a wrinkle appears, then disappears by a mouth which appears fixed permanently on the precipice of a frown. Is there a problem? I ordered your landing request denied, he states plainly. The protection of this world is my duty. I find that those with a history of exceptional acts oft test the charity of providence by taking exceptional risks. Uh, how many credits do I need to tithe? Uh, do I need to convince you that I'm not a risk? Spend not your time in this life on folly. Even our youngest initiate could see that you wear risk like a badge. The secular procedures are at hand are only part of my purview, he says. At present, I am more concerned with your spirit. He drops a heavy hand like a gavel on his desk. I am uninterested in more words. Listen we well now, for I speak, I speak my judgment on this matter. I shall review your request in seven days. If that's enough for creation, it will be enough for you to learn patience. <laughs> Blessings be, Captain. Uh, and upon you... a. Exacubitor Orbis. Okay. 
Uh, okay, fine. We'll wait seven days, I guess. So seven days go by quick. Let's stop by the the, uh, the hub here and see if we can pick up some, you know, make a little cash in seven days. Um, that that Chalcedon looks like the place to be, but we gotta get, we gotta make, we gotta find our way in there somehow. Because the path is not friendly. Uh, isn't Volturn we want to go? We want to go to? I think it is. It's Chalcedon again. Uh, that one's going back to Canaan. Buy for one seventy one and sell in Canaan for. Oh yeah, those are the Marines. We could go some Marines. We could we could try that out. Um, let's see if we can make a quick buck here while we wait our seven days. I think our quick buck is going to be made by um, by maybe shooting some things. I'm up for shooting stuff. Uh, but we're the good guys. We're only shooting the bad guys. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. What does the Lytic Church want us to do? There's some tensions between the Lytic Church and Tritachion in open conflict, huh? Is there any, anything of note about it? Okay, we've got bounties all around. Yeah, seven days is a, is a test to see just how, um, how calm I am. We can go do some probes. We can survey some worlds. we got the shrines we got to check out. Uh, anything nearby here? There's a smuggler heading out. He's carrying lemonade. I don't want to be it, of course. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well... Bounties, where you guys at? Everyone, everyone's super far away. Yeah, they're all out there pretty far. <laughs> That's right. The last thing we need is is non-believers. We're going to do an open conflict. So so we are free to shoot Tritachion? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh, let me visit the... Let's go visit the, uh, the bar. Find someone bribable in local traffic control. What's not to the concerned woman? What's old Persia one here? Uh, I got 190 units of Gorganus that are need uh, delivered to to Coatl over there in um, that's a Gemini. We can deliver that. It can accommodate 204 spaces of cargo. She's gonna give me 11,000 credits, which is like garbage. Um, no, I well, I, I'll be back. I'll be back. Let's go find someone bribable. So, to work your way through the spacers, buying drinks and talking shop, dropping good-natured pointed complaints about the humorless church-operated customs regime gets you on the right path. So, um, let's feel out the... I don't, I don't know. We'll feel out the possibilities for a bribe. People like us just gotta keep our heads down. Pray in public. Yeah, live your own life in the quiet, you know? Between complaints about Ludic society, you get the understanding that 2,000 credits... An unauthorized shuttle flight to the Shrine of Hesperus could be tagged by a helpful non-believer as a regular pilgrim transport. Yeah, bribing would... You're right. If I bribe them, it would impress the leader. Like, that guy really wants to... He really believes hard. Pray that bribe. Make arrangements. Transfer the credits. True to their word. Tags my shuttle with the ID of a regular pilgrim. All right. Pilgrim. The planet is riven by glaciers like a network of scars on the battered hide of a fossilized monster. My. The uh, path, uh, flight path takes your shuttle into a great canyon of canyons filled with chaos and ice and stone. Uh, it banks off an off branch. Ridges of rock uh, loom larger. Now and again, you spot crumbling remains of industry. <clears throat> hey, you know, how's it going? Uh, around one last turn of the canyon, the shrine complex appears to be a bright spire of habitats, towers, and masts rising from the misty remains of a titanic atmospheric processing plant. Your trained eye spots the likely, likely positions, of, positions of heavy weapon emplacements. Two clean cliff faces at convenient angles the suspiciously level floors of certain hanging valleys. Lightning Bay Antechamber is a Baroque Gothic militant display of post-industrial salvage. Big words today. Dead suits of power armor, a standard attention, weapons proudly displayed, glowing between riveted and crusted arches, and scenes of battle and martyrdom. The gallery is filled with parties of Ludic pilgrims dressed in traditional hand-weave meeting with shrine attendants. I'd like to go visit the shrine. 
At your request, I'm going to meet the same guy again. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. The attending subcurate leads you through a brief ceremonial hand washing, then down the, hot, the long galley. Uh, the robe doesn't quite touch the floor. W uh, welded field of armored plates. Uh, that's just where you should stick your uh, your lemonade, buddy. And niches along the walls are occupied by empty helmets. The shrine is a grand tomb set in an enormous air shaft. The viscera has been transformed into a baroque sculpture of thousands of edged weapons aligned like feathers of a wing. Chat GPT, write this. In the center, surrounded by a galaxy of flickering candles, lie the lead lined caskets of a squad of martyred knights. The manner of their deaths, the subcurate explains in reverent whispers, left their bodies unidentifiable and infused with radioactive material, which would kill a direct observer even to this day. You're left in a prayer niche to contemplate the horror. What a happy place. Uh, next to the niche, uh, in the next niche over, a young knight initiative gives you a challenging look. His head freshly shaved, he must be very new to the order. You're not a knight, he says quietly, making a show of looking over your uniform. Not one of us, not really. Why are you here, spacer? Um, despite appearances, I am a pilgrim, young knight. Right, he sticks his chest out a little more, categorizing you safely within his teleology. I'm sworn to protect your lot, you know. He nods brusquely and returns his gaze to the lead coffins. I'm supposed to contemplate their sacrifice. Horrible way to die like that. You're, uh, he glances at your garb again. Spacer, right? Ever seen that happen to anyone? Yep. He stares at you for a moment, then slowly returns his gaze to radioactive martyrs. martyrs. Subdued, subdued chanting, warped by the strange geometry of his cultic industrial space, blends with the air cyclers. Candles burn clean and bright, gleaming off the multitude of blanded facets adorning every surface of the shrine's interior. A monument to sacral bloodshed. Okay. Excellent. Back to the shuttle. Uh, done. Okay. Uh, anyone here we want to talk with? I suppose what we could do, um, I'm curious, the bishop here, I could go be commissioned by the Lodic Church. If I do that, there's gonna be a problem if I do that. I, if I do that, I'm, I'm free to shoot like Tritachion if I want. However, that means they're also not gonna like me, so maybe I should, I should get anything, anything over in Tritachion lands done before I go and, and start shooting them up. Uh, but before we, before we, we head out, let me figure out where my next destination is going to be. Uh, oh, how do we see that? There it is. So we've got the holder station, but this is at a little path place, which is going to be tough to get to. We'll have to sneak into there. Uh, Jengala is easy enough. Kilia is... No, it doesn't say where it's at. It's just in that system. Right? Killa? Yeah, it's just somewhere around there. And then the one that's at Volturn here, which we could get up to Volturn pretty easily. In the Asconia system. Um, we'll avoid Umbra, but if there's anywhere else there that has some trade they'd like to do, we'll go and take it there, on our way there. Said you could talk to the head guy again. You should say... You have to go so he's not left wondering why you never showed up in a week. I wonder what happened if we went back down there. <laughs> okay, we want to go to... Not that way. We probably should pick up some of these. Are they cheap here? Uh, not really. Not really. How much are crew? Uh, cr crew are... No, no, not here. Um, we can make a little bit... Atslan is one of the ones we're supposed to be hit. Oh, that's where that one guy... Want, that, she wanted me to take those that stuff. Um, We could do that. Oh, there's a Sconia, but that's... that's. Oh, wait, wait, that's it, that's it. We can take heavy machinery, sell it for 332 in Northia, in the Asconia system. Perfect. That's where we're going. We're going to uh, Asconia, right? Yeah. So stop by Northia, and then we'll head up to... Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So we're going to take some heavy machinery, and I will take as much as I can carry. I'll take all of it. Take that. Um, I've got a few more I can pick up. Wait, wait. Is it still? So it's, I can buy it for 150 and I'm going to sell it for 332 Black market trading isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? Okay. 
I'm saying this to myself to make myself feel better because we're the good guys. Because remember, we're the good guys. <laughs> But you know, when when uh, when God created the earth in seven days, who's who's to say He didn't visit the black market on on, on one of those days? That's land there. Um. Yeah, yeah, a, li a little line bending. That's what's going on. We, uh, we'll 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 draw draw the line with with um, lemonade. Okay, we'll just take these things. That's we're well, we're not even, not even really full. Um, oh wait, Arcadia, right? That's where we're going. No, Asconia. There's another one. There's another. One. We can make more money with uh, with organics as well. Let me just do this little bit. Um, if they if they search me, I'm going to be in trouble. Um, we can take this stuff over there also to Norcia. Take as much as that I can carry. That's all I can grab right now is a hundred of them. If I had a transport, I could carry more. Like if we had something like a nice a nice. Uh, um, not a salvage rig. Like a freighter. 24 grand. It's like all my money. Transport. There's a frigate. There's a little freighter there. How much do you how much do you carry? Cargo capacity of a hundred. We can carry a bit more. Eleven grand isn't gonna be worth the money for that. Hmm. I don't know. Snag that guy and make a little bit more cash. I don't think I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it as it is. We'll just, we'll, we'll we'll take off with what we've got. And I think I bought him right. Oops. Yeah, so we're we're fold up. Um, we're heading over to Asconia. Over here. If we come across something that wants to shoot us, we will shoot them right back. Because we do have a decent... Like, we're not like a big fleet, but we do have a fleet. So we can handle little things. The uh, the Hammerhead's a good... It's a pretty good starter ship. It's like... it's. I think it's like the... Every time I would look up, like, guides or like tips on starting Star Sector, everyone always started out with the same thing. Get a Hammerhead. It's like a... It's a very good basic ship. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. Because I really like the small ships. The small ships are fast, and you can... I like flying the small ships. But it is a it is pretty sturdy um, starter ship. There's a path cell here. Okay. Okay, so we need to go to Nortia and make a, make a little business before we head off to the next place. I suppose we could go fly a little faster, couldn't we? Forgot about that five button. Okay, let's go visit the bar. We'll drop off some things. I think I think a little black market trade won't hurt anybody. Uh, I don't want to sell. I think all. Well, should we just do all of these? Yeah, we'll just do all of them. We can buy them cheaper elsewhere. Here we go. I'm making a little cash. Uh, we'll look at where we're gonna go next in a minute. There's a deficit of supplies here. Wait, there's a deficit of supplies, and there's a there's a um, surplus in Sindria. Maybe we should go to Sindria and just bring it up here and sell it. Um, do you have a do you have a ship? This might be worth buying a a freighter. You got nothing. You got a mule. What do you carry? You're kind of broken there. Um, let's go look. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll run. I mean, it's, this lemonade is not, not illegal here. If it's not illegal, then it sounds like it's fine. Yep, yeah, that's right. New update. Very exciting. Wait. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, sit down. No good. No good. Okay, so I think what we'll do is... These aren't really worth, worthwhile. Um, 
let's run over to the other place. Um, was it this one? Let's just run. We can just run the Volturn. We're going to Volturn anyway. Buy some more heavy machinery and haul it back up here. Okay. So, I mean, we're going to Volturn anyway. We can just make a short trip over there, pick up some more heavy machinery and haul it back over here. And if we, if possible, we'll find a freighter. We'll buy a freighter so we can carry some more stuff because that'll give us some quick cash. Um, some quick necessary cash. Lots of salvage actually there. Some fighting going on around here. Oh yeah, fix my ship up. Uh, let's go. We can visit the shrine. Let's. Yeah, we'll go to the shrine first. Flash of official iconography. Instructions are returned from the orbital navigation service, which attempts to track the innumerable human-made artifacts. Yada yada. We go down there. Shifty official meets your shuttle at the landing pad. Behind him, you spot temporary weapon emplacements and a shield module stamped with the crest of the Cindrian Diktat. Uh, his trembling facsimile of a smile and looks up to you and down. A pilgrim, are you? He asks unconvincingly. I'm afraid the shrine is closed today and tomorrow. Security concerns of the station, of the situation has been unstable. What's going on with these shrines? I'm... I can say I'm on a secret mission and spend one of my, one of my story points to get in there. Perhaps a donation to the local security forces will help. Um, yeah, you know, maybe. Data pad appears in the official's hand and he looks squinting to get a read on you. Are you a plant from internal security or a terrorist infiltrator? The options weigh on his face against his green. It's no contest. It's so difficult. The terrorists strike without warning at women and children, and I'm thankful for the lion. A lesser man would simply bombard this planet into submission, but the supreme executor... These are his children, and he's like a father. Even a father has so many resources at his disposal. If we had credits to purchase better armor for our brave young soldiers, he indicates the smoking conscripts, now having a spitting contest on the side of the landing platform. Imagine how their mothers would feel if they were hurt by a terrorist bomb. I think a thousand credits would probably do it. Five thousand, he shoots back. Alright, yeah, that works. Deal, he says, screeding a wet smile. Alright. With the bribe transferred, the local the official nods and leads you through the security checkpoints. Isn't it great being so devout? At attention, he screams, setting the conscripts into a flurry of activity. He gives a wave and we walk through the doors. <laughs> the receiving hall is empty of pilgrims and mostly dark hewn sewn uh, dark sewn banners hang limply, their bright colors muted in the gloom. You spot a light through a small doorway, the humble office of the curate Sacraria. Sacraria. Within, an old woman asleep behind a pot of tea. Um. Hello, I'd like to see the shrine. She sighs at your outburst and opens her eyes. She seems too composed to have been truly sleeping, then withdraws the pistol, which was held under her hand weave, and places it in a holster. I can hardly shoot you for interrupting the nap I wasn't having, now can I? I can go drink her tea. I'm a pilgrim, here to see the shrine. Then, she says, I'm here to show it you it. Simon, she says to someone behind you, you may also steal your weapon. You turn to look, at S and Simon does as he asks. I failed my perception check, giving you an apologetic little half-salute. Not quite an hour later, you find yourself at the bottom of the sea, in the Ludic Shrine of Volturn. It's a creaking and unnerving humid inspection module at the end of a modified extraction stack. The metal proboscis thrust into the depths of Volturn. And it's also filled with guns, explosives, grenades, cell mags. Crates and racks are piled high, making the small space more cramped. A small shrine is set in an open space under a round diamond matrix viewport which holds back a titanic mass of water. A few candles struggle to maintain even a decent flicker among the ranks of dead comrades. No, oh, dead comrades, dead fl dead candle comrades. There are pilgrims here of a sort. Their unwashed bodies smell of sweat and smoke. They speak and pray quietly. The curate Sancraria. Sancraria? Am I saying that right? Relights a candle from one that is burning and offers one for you to do the same. You're part of the insurgency, huh? Um, I'm going to light the candle. Oh, I don't ask questions. So the torch is passed, the curate says. Light of flame, light of faith. She gives you a sly look. Or it's just a candle. It's not just a candle. The Numa leaves, lives in these words. 
She's staring sadly, you think, at the candle before you. In relation with old Moira, she, she's happy she likes us. I'm going to look out the window for a minute. Specks float on blue-black stars in space. Like stars in space and the light cast out of the crushing depths. It's almost unsettling wrongness from familiar image. Motes of something or other flick to and fro. Life prevails even here under unthinkable oppression. Let's be thankful too for the ingenuity granted to us by Providence. She taps the pressure hole which resounds dully. See? We don't hate all technology. Should I say it? Should I say something? This is a troubling arsenal. She frowns. What troubles you about it? This is a shrine. Not, uh, is it not a sacred place? The book does tell us, blessed are the peacemakers. Yet, the curate looks at you with hard eyes. Peace does not make itself. Lud was no war maker, but Lud knew when to fight. By self-sacrifice, by martyrdom, or did not Lud deliver victory? She waves a hand dismissive, dismissively. This is rhetoric to you, perhaps, but to me it's more simple. I will not let my flock be taken to the mines of Kruor as sacrifice to some tin pot Lucifer. Are you part of the looted path? Should I ask the question? I'm going to ask it. Yeah, I saw that one too. Not at all. She gives you a look of some disgust. I am a curate of the Church of the Galactic Redemption. What I do and what they do are different. I hope, I truly hope you can see that. Her gaze turns to the weapons. I admit there has been contact. Every day is a test. I pray we do not stray too far from Lud. Excellent. Okay, uneventful flight. We're going to go ahead and buy a few things here. Ooh, they got lobsters here. Ooh, I like lobsters. Well, we may be going to visit some of these, but I don't... S oh, we can go to Gilead. We can sell them in Gilead. We can sell them in Gilead. Uh, if there's anyone around here that we can sell stuff and make a big buck, which there is. Of course, we know that we got the heavy machinery that we can we can dump over there back at... Um, what's, what's, her, what's her noses? And they also had, I think, this, right? Um, yeah, a little bit. We can make a little bit of money there, but this, this is the big money. So I'm going to buy all these. It's a lot of tax. 30% tax. I don't want to pay that kind of tax. And so that, that old lady taught me a lesson. Sometimes you just got to visit the black market. That's what she taught me. Sometimes you just got to visit the black market. We're going to stock up. We're going to buy as much as, they can, as we can get. I'll pay some taxes. Um, I'm tempted to buy some lobsters while I'm here. We're going to go head back over here uh, to that other place. Um, I could buy a bunch of supplies. I'm only got 100 of them right now. I could buy a bunch of supplies and run them back over to Norcia. We're going to Norcia anyway. I thought the lesson was they would pay a premium for heavy weapons. <laughs> that was also the lesson. Yeah, that was the other lesson. <laughs> uh, we'll see what they've got. Um, they got some big stuff over here. Look at that guy. Uh, there's, I think there's four new ships in this update. I don't remember what ones they are, though. I don't remember what the names of them. I sure they'll stand out to me whenever I, when I scroll by them. If they, if you see them in chat, yell out, and I'll point them out. Uh, we can pay a buffalo up here. We're, we don't really have a lot of money. We just spent it buying stuff. There's a big freighter there. It would be nice to have a little bit more uh, stuff. A mule. Is the mule the one that has... Um, that's for good. No, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Uh, there's some buffalo. We can't afford those things. Oh, I like the Hyperion. It's good stuff. If I find... Like, if I'm scrolling by here and somebody has a Tempest out there, I'm buying it. Whether we're going big or not. I would like to go with a big, a big ship. This is the one we've got right now is this Hammerhead. And I'd like to go with that eventually, but not, we can't afford it right now. I could afford a Combat Freighter, but then I can't afford to put anything on it. Hound. Hound is the one that has, that has the... Um, the good plating, right? So that, um, like, we can put lemonade in there and not be seen. One small freighter was 11000 You gave it a $5,000. Yeah, yeah, I gave out some pretty hefty bribes. Actually, it's not, in, the, in the long run, it's not really that much money. So we could buy a, another little freighter here. 75, 75 cargo capacity. Um, I'll buy a little hound. Yeah, hounds, hounds are great. We'll pick up a hound. A little black market hound. Congratulations, you bought a new ship. 
Oh yeah, we probably should re refit this thing. Um, so I'm flying this guy up here. I'll stick with it for a, for a bit anyway. Um, we can auto fit this. Guy. I'm just gonna auto fit this guy as as just sort of like a. Um, I just put him as a standard guy. A uh, thousand bucks. Yeah, we'll just put some standard things on him. We got, he's going to be a lot with a, hot, a mortar, a machine gun, and I think everything else is fine. <laughs> there you go, Skull. You, there you go. There's your Hellhound. Okay. Um, Prepare it up. Now that we've got it, we've got a little bit of cash left. We can buy a few more supplies. I can't buy that much, though. Uh, was it shift? No. I forget my I forget my buttons. There it is. We'll just buy what we can. And we'll go sell the rest. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to just pop out of here. And we're going we're gonna to jump over to Norty over here. We're going to make sure we, we try to avoid these guys. We wanna, like, if you do a lot of... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. If you do a lot of uh, black market stuff and people get kind of suspicious of you and you get people look at your cargo. Uh, there's a derelict Vanguard frigate hanging out here. Well, let's see what we got here. We can try to recover this thing. Heavy strike frigate. It's a little broken. I don't think I don't have anything that can really do any recovery stuff, but we can we can salvage the guy. Well, yeah, we can salvage the guy. I'll take some stuff. And there's, I believe, some salvage over here also. All kinds of good stuff. Let's do a little, uh, we'll do a little scavenging. High risk. Oh, we found another Vanguard. I don't remember how good the Vanguard is, but it's got a lot of problems. Structural damage, degraded engines, faulty power grids. Lost my heavy machinery, but we gained some more as well. Uh, what's something else down here also? Did I see? Yeah. A little destroyer here. Uh, oh, a little Shrike. And we'll just salvage that. He's 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 too far gone, but we'll, we'll pick him up. For those of you that haven't played the game, um, there is there's an innumerable uh, amount of ways of playing this game. You can want to be a scavenger. You can do that. You want to be just be a just be a big space truck driver, space delivery boy. You can do that. You can go and join the forces and fight for the forces. Build your own fort. You can build your own empire. There's a million different things. And of course, there's skills where you can gear everything that way. Um, I would take him if he didn't have the erratic fuel injector, because that's going to mean that he is going to use more fuel to fly, and we don't want that. I'd like to have an extra fuel tanker. It'd be nice to have. But his increased maintenance, yeah, that's not really not what we want. He's a little too far gone. Yeah, we got, what's there, like six, seven factions in the game? Or you can make your own. Um, okay, so let's go and do a little selling. We're going to just sell this stuff that we picked up as well. And um, I'll do black market. We're independent. We don't care about these guys. So we'll sell what we've got here. Ooh, making some cash now. Um, I will sell a bunch of these. I can buy more at a cheaper place. We need supplies. We don't want to sell too many of these. But I like money. I didn't sell too many. Um, feels pretty cheap here, but it's actually, yeah, it's pretty cheap here. Let's go ahead and gas up the rest of the way. And if they've got something that's like real cheap here, I don't think they do. We were here before and we didn't see anything. We can go back to Asher for that stuff. Mm, that's good money if we go to some if you go to Sphinx Samara that's good money that's real good money I'm not going to the pirate station they'll just shoot me I'm not really in a condition any condition to go and do some piratey stuff um I think we want to take there's only 33 of them here I mean we have 14 it's not a lot of money well it's actually not there not bad yeah we'll do that um, we'll try to make our mission go that direction. So we need to go to the Samara system six light years that way. Yeah, I mean, that's that's, that's 300 bucks a piece. I don't know if we can become the Space Pope. 
I sure hope so. So we'll pick up a few of those things to, you know, keep the... We gotta be able to tithe, right? You know, we gotta have some sort of money. Uh, let's take a look at our... So we wanna go to... What was... Oh, it's way down there. Samara. We don't have any of our missions are down, are down there, I don't think. Kill us up that way. Oh, we can go to... Jengal is that way. Sort of. So we can we can visit where was it? We can go to Samara and then come back. Or maybe we go to maybe we go to Corvus, stop at Jengala, and then continue down to Samara. Let's do that. We'll visit the bar, see if there's anything here exciting. Tough woman wearing a powered armor undersuit. Uh, she's a, she's a pirate. Oh, level captain, you, you can you handle you can handle your flux. I respect that. I'm wondering if you want to get on get in on a job with me. Showing off a set of titanium teeth. You want to know more? Yeah, what you got? There's a falcon collecting space dust in a lightly guarded orbital hangar. You need 50 marines to do this. So we want me to go and like attack somebody and steal this ship. But no, no. We're not in that kind of business. It paint, it's, it's kind of difficult, you know. I really want to be in that kind of business. <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing my best to be the good guy. This is a new thing for me. Yeah, we're running low on we are running low on supplies. Oops. I'm not sure we can make this. I'm not sure we can make this all the way. I'm trying to. Forty-three. Um. We'll be all right. I'm kind of kind of close. I may have sold a little too much, but it should be cheap here in Jengala. We'll be fine. I think that's Jengala right there. Yeah. Whoops, let go a little too soon. Okay, there's the pirate base. Uh, we want to go to here. It's pretty close, good. Seven days have passed, by the way. That guy's like, uh, like you know, dang kids is what he's saying. Okay, uh, we'll go um, visit the shrine. Might as well go here first. Uh, we welcome to Jingal. It's a very pretty place. This is like the beginner place where you start the game. This is where you start. The hum of your shuttle changes pitch as it hits the edge of the true atmosphere. Passing quickly in the cloud cover beyond the view, view panes, human eye visibility is reduced to nearly zero. Um, uh, uh, as the shuttle fires retros for landing, dipping well below the speed of sound by the demand of both nav regs and good manners, your viewpoint begins to collect marching droplets of moisture. They have an ochre coloration. Uh, uh, above a sickly green tinge. You've heard of this effect. Fine-grained spore analogs in the atmosphere. Um, we don't care about the long-term effects of spores. I'm sure it's fine. Shuttle descends into the landing pad, the Jingali foliage encroaching through its own ashes to reclaim the space. Pop a standard dose of, of anti-xenols. Re-examine the quality of your breathing mask. Let's go to the shrine. Okay, reception lounge, lounge is filled with parties of Lodic pilgrims in traditional hand weave. We've seen this before. Let's go check it out. It's very, very jungly around here. Uh, there's a shrine attendant, of course. He scurries to meet me. The complex is kept overpressurized, they say, following your gaze. So if there were a breach, there would be plenty of time to find and seal the leak. The attendant creates what must be intended to be a reassuring smile. How might we assist you? I'm visiting a shrine. Yes, of course, I can show you to the washing station where we ask that all Pilgrim or no partake of a simple cleansing before visiting the interior shrine. I mean, outside the real shrine. No, no, no. I, I continue. You are led past the heavy, the heavy curtains. The murmur of pilgrims is muted and all artificial light shut out. Your eyes adjust to the shrine chamber, taking in rows of silhouetted pilgrims near, kneeling before polished panes of diamond matrix, illuminated by the sickly yellow-green cloud cover from without. Beyond the windows, you see overgrown human figures. A statue garden, the forms blister with growths, crawling with tendrils sprouting with fruiting bodies of alien life. One moves. Not the wind, but another pilgrim. Exposed and outdoors, there are people out there. You realize with a start, wearing only light robes, easily overtaken by the undergrowth. Overgrowth. Oh, that was an easy one. I thought nothing happened there. I got story points. I leveled up. I'm level two. 
Hooray. Uh, their feet, more forms come into focus, covered by a quilt of mosses and mycelium, or whatever alien equivalent, which obscures their feet of the statues. Bones? Or are they fallen branches of overgrown rocks? The final wish for some terminally devoted fanatics, or your imagination set loose. The green churns, not quite imperceptibly in the course of ten the minutes you watch, all consuming, ferociously regenerative, the cycle of life could be born of Earth or an alien world. Okay, well that was easy. Go visit the bar. Uh, we'll, we'll sell some things if we can. These are illegal here, apparently. So we won't sell those here. Um, heavy, you know, heavy weapons. But we are heading uh, to... What's the system we're going to? Um, I forget what it's called. We're going to Samara. Sphinx is the place we're going. So if anything here is, wants to go with me... To Sphinx. Uh, I gotta buy some of this stuff anyway. And it is cheap here, as I was hoping. Not the cheapest, but it's pretty cheap. I got like 100 of those. Just keeping an eye for Samara. There we go. So we can buy some troops. And there's excess troops here. So we stop by Eventide, drop off some troops. Um, I got room for a few people. Oh, this is going to... This is going to Sphinx. This is where we're going. Perfect. Heavy machinery. Okay. That answers that question. Some other good things. This is this is the place to be to make money. Buy stuff cheap anyway. Okay, we'll buy some of that. Uh, we'll pay the taxes. I'm not happy about it. We'll pay the taxes. Um, and if you've got, like... Um, I'll take these as well. Can I buy from the military? I can't buy these from you, can I? I'm going to buy them if I can. You're going to let me? Sure. Taxes, but I'll buy them from the, from the military. And I can't really buy very many troops. Um, well, we'll just go to Sphinx. Sphinx is, uh, seems like the place to be. Anybody at the bar want to talk? we got a um, commander here. Uh, I can make... What do you want? We have a surplus Eagle class cruiser in dock for 50000 Yeah. I'd like it, but I don't have any money. I just spent it all. Okay, so we got to go to Samara now. Yeah, it's, it's the old uh, ex exploration day. Space Pope next DLC. <laughs> okay, make the jump to light speed. Man, I ain't like dusting crops. Who's that? Hey, Cinna, thanks for the thanks for the gift subs. Thank you very much. Oops. Okay, we're gonna go to Sphinx. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate that. <clears throat> Hey, we got uh, we got a bounty here. Somebody has made the church mad. Well, I can deal with that. Uh, let's go make some money. Uh, it is illegal to sell these things here, but that's what the black market is for. Eighty-two grand right there. We can also sell this heavy machinery for a hundred and ten. Money be rolling in, and dad jokes be rolling in as well. Okay. Okay. Deal. Now we got some cash. All right. Dad joke. Um. So today is today is the fifth of May. Or I guess it's not the fifth of May anymore, but it was the fifth of May. Okay. Bear with me here. So a lot of folks don't know that back in 1912, Hellman's mayonnaise was made in England, and in fact, the Titanic was carrying 10,000 jars of of the condiment. And a lot of folks don't, don't know, but the next port of call after New York was was uh, was Mexico. Thanks for the raid, Blue Zest. You're popping in right in the middle of a dad joke. Titanic on its way to Mexico with mayonnaise. Okay? 
Thanks, Harley. Well, the people of Mexico were crazy about mayonnaise. And so they were pretty eager to get that delivery of mayonnaise. This would have been the biggest delivery of mayonnaise ever. And they're pretty distraught about the sinking of the Titanic. And so it's so great, their, 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 their anguish, that they declared a national day of mourning, which they still observe to this day. And that national day of mourning occurs every year on the 5th of May, known as the Cinco de Mayo. And then, and then all of the Raiders leave. <laughs> That's it. The stream has peaked. It's not getting any better than this today. <clears throat> Is that true? Sinna? Sinna? <laughs> um... Anyway, uh, we got to go figure out what our quest is. So we, we've, we're going, uh, those of you new raiders, we're playing some Star Sector. We are um, space pilgrims. Um, and pilgrims as in we are, we are there's, there's some, um, some shrines out there. And we're going to go and um, visit all these shrines because we are loyal and devout. We visit these shrines whether we uh, should or not. So I got a point to pin, spin though. We're going to put it on to... I think it's this one I want. Uh, repair is faster. Repair, recover. That's probably a good one to get. Um, combat things. Maneuverability. I think I'm going to take the... Um, Post-battle salvage. Loss in non-combat operations. I'm going to take this one because if we get in battle, we'll get repaired faster. That seems like a good one to have. All right, um, let's go and we're not gonna buy everything. Everything here is expensive, uh, except for fuel. Actually, we're supposed to figure out where we're gonna go next. I'll go ahead and stock up on the fuel, and let's go figure out where we want to go next. So our next mission here, we we got two more shrines to visit. We got one up there in Killa, and we got one at Beholder Station. Now this is a this is a this is Ludic Path. They hate us, and so we have to find our way. We have to sneak into that station in order to see that. So we're gonna go up to Killa first. And visit that one. Then we'll go over there. So let's head straight up north to Killa. Right? Which one is that? Which one is it pointing to? That one. Okay. We're going to head here and try to find Killa. We don't know where this one is. This is a mystery one. So we're going to go find that shrine. Uh, we've got we've got goods. We're not carrying anything to sell because everything here is expensive and nothing sells really up there. Um, in the Ema, Ema system. Really, there's just pirates there. Yeah, kill it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, that's good money, but that's a pirate station. That's is that where we're going? Ema, that's where we're going. Oh, if I could only get into the pirate stations, I'd be so rich. Another one. Ema pirates are um, itching for some stuff. It's fine. We'll just we'll just get out of here and head that way. Okay, so we are heading up to yeah that one. It's already in, in my, it's already marked. The hegemony is is pursuing me. I'd rather them not, so I'm going to burn. That was close. Oh, I forgot there was a bounty over here. Where's it? Let's see what this escape pod petty. Huh? That's his name. Where is this guy at? Oh, he's way out there. Ah, oh, they're both way out there. That's nowhere near me. Um, I don't know if I've ever played on a small map. How big is my... Oh, my fuel range is... Oh, I can go anywhere. Space is small this time. <coughs> I guess we could go out there and shoot that guy, but he's got a little bit bigger fleet than I can probably handle. Actually, I could probably handle that. It's just a destroyer. Probably about 60,000 bucks. We could. We probably can't do that one, but we could do that one, I bet. If we really wanted to go do some fighting. But no, no, we're on a... We are on a mission from God, literally. Can you turn off your transponder and dock with pirates? Um, I can turn my transponder off. And, yes. Um, I may not be able to get by with the church, though. I'm not sure. If it's just, if it's so easy. Black market trade, they're kind of mad about that. I'm 
I got some pirate activity over there. There's a Ludic Path cell over here. My 9,000 monthly uh, beginner's income. Okay, so now we don't know where this place is. I guess we have to just sort of find it. We have to figure out where this shrine is. There's some pilgrims right there. Like, you? Turn it to Hesperus. Okay. I'm gonna guess if it's out. Let's go. Let's go over here. What's that? It's a gate. I don't remember what the um, what the thing said. Let me read this. What are those shrines? I think it is. Um, the shrine of Killa is grim, desolate, and half forgotten even by the faithful of the church. It doesn't say, like, where it's at. Oh, yeah, it does. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Wait. It's right. Okay. Found it. <laughs> it's the name of, that's the name of the planet. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm new to this whole space thing. Fleet approaches Killa. Uh, vague. Vague infrared readings from otherwise unremarkable terrain hint at camouflage habitation beneath the, re the regolith. There are definitely survivors hiding inside Killa, though an organized, no organized polity maintains open relations with the greater sector. If slagged holes of tramp freighters are any indication, the locals aren't very welcoming. Now well, let's take a shuttle down and say hi. Descends toward the surface of Killa, following the landing beacon to an ancient lava sea peppered with craters. Tactical systems log the briefing ping of targeting radar, but the signature suggests a handheld system too crude to pose a threat to your countermeasures. It's far from any obvious ruins or landmarks. There is just a smear of crumbling temporary habs and cold broken transports. It comes to rest on a landing pad. The wreckage and debris is not so chaotic as it seemed from orbit. Dusty footprints lead toward an airlock buried in an escarpment. Um, yeah, let's... let's uh, we'll just follow the footprints. No need to scan. Follow the path laid by the others to the airlock. The manual controls allow you to pull open to reveal a yawning black hole. Well, let's go inside. There is no interior atmosphere, at least none to speak of. Ghostly veils of dust flex and twist in the electrostatic fields of the shrine, strong enough to overcome the low gravity of this world to hang in the near vacuum. Instructions are given by some unnamed Ludic priest who recites his words into crude repeaters awoken by your activity. Come in only in peace. Let rest the dead. We pray now in the words revealed to Lud. The ossuary is built from buried holes and roughly welded in a chaotic but not artless architecture. The surface is quite level, but the original faded crumbling icons and lettering belial forgotten functions. Crew quarters, attachment point, purge before cycling. In the gloom, you begin to make out empty sockets, rib cages, countless femurs and spines. Cluster in recesses, corners and stowaway spaces with hatches removed. You realize that the dust in the air comes from the bodies, the bones, slowly crumbling around you. Well, things got a little grim. The unknown priest's words fill the radio channels made warbly and tinny by the low power of the repeaters. Fell from orbit like burning leaves, caught by wind and wailing life breath stolen from mother and child. Praise on <laughs> I'm wearing my shirt, my Praise on Tinty shirt today. A dead suit's indicators blink from gray, black to green. It steps towards you. You instinctively pull back, hand on your sidearm. The figure pauses, adjusts something on its battered suit, and the helmet switches on its self-illumination. Its hands sign with cha a channel ID, which you flick to. We have few visitors, says the same voice as the broadcast prayers, rough with age and disuse. This is what passes for the local curate Sancraria. I walk the pilgrim's path. The curate makes a sound in his throat. Acknowledgement, you catch a glimpse of sad dark eyes. Then you walk with will you then you walk with me. Come, a dark path, company is welcome. He turns and walks without hesitation to the folds of ruin. Moving deeper between rooms and holes, you witness galleries of the dead. Bones and skulls carefully and artfully piled. Get a glimpse now and then of pilgrims and one and twos by their active vac suit indicators. He leaves them to their contemplations. They are forgotten, he says. All forgotten, turned to dust by war. But I'll remember that they once were. It is all I have to give. 
The curate's suit helmet bobs at you, and you will remember now, too. And then they shall live eternal, you understand? I will fight to avenge them. He looks, Simta looks at you, then you think, shakes his head, contemplate, he says finally. I, I got that answer wrong. With that said, and nothing else, he disappears into some shadowy corridor. You're left among the dead, the webs of ash hanging in the air, twitch and flow as movement elsewhere in the labyrinth triggers minor fluctuations in the standing electrostatic charge. Well, let's stay a while. And listen. You stay a while. The hollow eyes keep silent vigils, stacks and wings and arches and forests of human bone adorn every surface. The dust flex pulses slowly like the breath of a titanic creature. Back to my shuttle. We did it. Okay, one more to go. I'm curious where this is going to lead us to. Um, we can stop by Salamanca. Let's go see, stop by here and see if we can pick up some things to sell for our trek west. Um, also, what I might do is I might go and I might dock somewhere else and pick up something a little more stealthy so I can slide into that station without any without being harassed. That's a good deal, isn't it? It's a pretty good deal. Not like a bargain, but it's a decent deal. Um, let's not buy that. Not, not that many. There we go. Uh, what else you got here? What are you, what are you selling? So we're going to go back to... Um, well, we're going to Kamari eventually. I, don't, I probably won't do any selling there. I think maybe what we want to do... What's, what's, what's over there? In that vicinity. Uh, wrong button. So we want to go to Kamari. Uh, what we could do is we could run... We could run to Canaan. Um, or we, could, we could go to Kazeron. Maybe we stop by Kazeron. And then maybe pick up a small ship. Stealthy ship. And we can slide into there. And do our business. So let's go find something that's going to Thule. Um, either Kazeron or Eldfell. Um, we're looking for Thule. Something on, on this pat, uh, this demand part. Looking for something that's going to go to Thule and make us some money. While well, we're heading that way, you know. And looks like ain't nothing. Well... No business in Thule, I guess. Alright, then. Um, I'm curious what kind of ships you have, though. I will take a look at that. Because if you got something, like, small and stealthy... I know I said I was gonna do a big ship today, but but we we're, I want something small we can we can sneak in with. Really, any of these frigates, even that that little hound we picked up, we could just fly that thing in there, and we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Nothing's gonna see us with that. So I may just go do that. Okay, uh, let's let's go run to Thule, and we'll drop off our stuff, um, our ships. I mean, oh, a pilgrim. Really, where there's a pilgrim here. Hey, hey pilgrim. He smiles and puts his... Hey, it's Backpack! It's my character from the last game. He smiles and puts his hands together from his confident disposition, disposition wearing clothing. It's clear he comes from a wealth somewhat at odds with Ludic's ascetic reputation. Blessed day, Captain. I wish to arrange transport for myself and my party to the Shrine of the Beholder Station. I'm going there already! I can provide you 5,000 credits. Yeah, I'm going there anyway, buddy! Best friend. He wants to be there in 60 days. Yeah, alright. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we are still going to go to Thule, though, and just take one ship. That way, because we, we have a... The reason I'm doing this is because we have a pretty sizable sensor profile. It means we can be seen real easy. We can go dark, turn off our transponder, go dark. It may not be a problem. We might be able to just slide in there, but I'm afraid we're going to get jumped. Um, little bit path... If I remember correctly, the Lytic Path are like fleas. They're just all over the place, and there's like multiple little fleets. And so it's I think I think it's gonna be unlikely that we're gonna be able to just waltz in there. Maybe I can, maybe I'm overdoing this. But just from what I remember, 
I think we should probably play it somewhat safe. One of these days we'll not run into asteroids. Yeah, we gotta make it quick. Um, uh, if anybody's going, um, you know what? Oh, here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and do a storage. And I can do it with fleet storage, right? I can do... Yes, we'll pay the 5,000 fee. And we're going to leave. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to take, I'm going to take some skull. I think I'm going to have all this stuff. We'll have to sell a lot of stuff off. And we'll pick it back up. But we'll store everything else. Yeah, we're going to be way over on fuel now. Saturn here is gonna be not gonna be here, but look at all the stuff we're gonna have to carry. Yeah, we're, we'll, have to, we'll just sell this stuff, or we'll just stash it in storage. Actually, right, we'll just do that. <clears throat> Almost all of it. Uh, okay, I can just do it this way. Look, yeah. So we'll just stash this stuff in here. When we come back and get our fleet back, we'll we'll be fine. Um. Okay. I'll do that. I do. I am curious though if they've got something here we can buy. That's good. We have some money now. We might be able to get something a little bigger. I do want to go big. We gotta go big today. Another thing we could do is once we're done with this, we go back to the church and we join them, and then we can buy their stuff. They're not really that good. They got they don't have, they don't have good stuff, but we could go buy one of their ships. There's a wolf. I do like wolves. <clears throat> yeah, I only need 10 crew. We got 60 people. It's kind of packed on this ship. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the jump. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Before I leave. Did I look at this? We want to go... We're going to there, Kamari. So if there's something we can carry... We can carry a little bit of stuff. We might as well. We're going in. We might as well bring something. Uh, not those guys. But if something is real expensive, like that, we can make a fortune. Hang on a minute. I changed my mind. Um, I'm not going to bring everybody. Who, where's your size? Sensor profile is 90. You're kind of noisy. 60 on that guy. Only 30 on him. I think I can probably get away with... Oh, he's, he's noisy. I'm probably going to upgrade bringing him. He's only a 30. We can carry a little bit more stuff. I'll bring this guy with me as well. Um, we'll go ahead and pop old Saturn Olympus here. That name's made up. Uh, and so that's a little few more people. We can, and we can, we can load it up with some things. Because that's going to be some good money if we can... We're going to make like... Almost a thousand bucks a piece on these things. I gotta carry more. <laughs> um, a thousand bucks a piece. Getting greedy. Here's just a frigate. Um, Hound is small. I can carry. 75 more things. We could grab a couple more hounds. I know. I'm thinking maybe we, maybe we just try it and we just... Well, we'll just do a small one. And then if once we sell it, we'll come back and we'll grab more stuff and, and then take it in there. If we can. Because we always take this like this giant guy and just go dark. But I think, we, I think they would see us. I'm, again, I might be overdoing this. Um, these are 10,000. I'm just going to... You know what? Unreliable subsystems. I don't care about that. I'm going to buy two hounds. That's, this is what we'll do. We'll do it this way. And then we'll, we will load them up. And we'll go ahead and refit them and make sure we get them fitted out. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do that. That one. I don't really care what they... I don't care how they fight. Just got We got a whole row of, of hounds. I doubt next round's working because the update just came out today 
So I seriously doubt it. Okay, so with four of us now, we'll go ahead and repair them. And with the four of us, we can probably carry a bit more. Carry all of that. I'll take all of... Ooh, that's too much money. I only have 20,000 more bucks. I have just enough people, just enough crew for this. Okay, we'll stock up on fuel and then we'll take the rest in armaments. Not that much. Okay, there we go. It's an espresso machine. Yeah, that, that heavy, the heavy armaments, that's just what it, it's what it is. A bunch of espresso machines. We got coffee, we got lemonade, <laughs> we got Campbell's soup. That's what we're that's what we're dealing with here. Okay. Uh, anyone here looking to go anywhere? A crisply uniform officer wishes to consult with you. No, 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 thanks. No thanks. I'm on a mission. Okay, so we're going to here. Now what we're gonna do, we're just going to the the old Ludic Path place. No problem. No problem. You pursuing me? You stay away from me. Uh oh. away from this guy he seems to not like my, my funny business we're doing here okay we're gonna go dark or we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn the transponder off by doing that they don't know who we are so we should be able to dock just fine uh as long as they don't like inspect us we should be okay as long as the jimmy doesn't see us the they'll get mad at us uh, oh we're right wait are we right here we want to go to beholder station right really we're right here Look at that. How lucky do we, how lucky is that? Okay. Originally a resource platform established by the Domain Explorarium. All that I did was a waste because we started right, right there. The, um, the guide I have to deliver will automatically happen. Filled with parties of Ludic pilgrims, many dressed in traditional hand weave. This is the place to be. So we, uh, we delivered our buddy, transport complete. Uh, the leader of the pilgrims is transported from Salamanca and insists on having the excellent captain see his group off. You should see the shrine, captain, he insists. I was once an unbeliever. The experience is quite transformational. I was once an unbeliever as well. He flashes a perfect smile. Of course, I understand that this is a journey that one must choose for oneself. Makes a pious gesture and offloads a private shuttle. Let's go visit the shrine. Okay, he receives my request, and the only the subtlest, subtle, subtlest appro disapproval, subtlest. Uh, to your surprise, the, the sub curate approaches to escort you to the shrine's viewing chamber, and it's like the easiest one we've had so far. Exciting. Okay. Uh, I'll, ma I'll make an offering. Can I contribute? Tenure to supplies? Yeah, yeah, I got sure. Assist the church in its observance of sacred duty. Well, yeah. Although this is a, this is maybe not the best idea. Uh, oh, they like that. Improved uh, by three. Hey. Okay, we'll, we'll get back on our feet. Okay, so now the quest is done. That went a lot easier than I thought I was going to go. Return to uh, return to Gilead. Let's get out of here. I could go get my, go get my fleet again. Uh, but not, wait, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Can I... Um, how do I sell here? Praise on Dinty. Is it not here? That I want to sell here. That's where I want to sell. Okay. Here. We're going to stay dark. No one can see us. Our sensor profile is tiny. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. No problem. There's somebody flying right, right there. Let's go visit and sell and make us some money. Ooh, make a big money. Okay, we're rich. We're very rich. There's deficits all around here. I should, like, pop in here all the time. If we were friends with these guys, we could make some big money. Uh, we're going to go back over... We'll get, my, we'll get my fleet in a bit. We're going to head back... Um, to... Um, Gilead. In a minute. Canaan is where we're going. That's expensive. 19... And if there's anything we want to pick up, we'll, we'll just check out real quick, make sure. Okay. Uh, everything here's expensive. And I think I've got... I don't have a lot of supplies, and they're expensive here. I think with, with our small fleet, we can probably make it, though. Just fine. Okay. 
Uh, we'll visit the bar. He's a weathered-looking man. He's a master of a farming commune, and he's come to come to town to find distributors for their products. To town. He got 100 units of food. He needs moved as soon as possible. If you buy it all today, you can get it for 14 bucks a unit. As pious folk, we need not bother with the church's tariff. I agree, Zoon. If we can hold 359 extra units of cargo, it's 1400 bucks. Firm handshake and a crypto key exchange. 14 bucks for some food. Sure, I'll help you out, buddy. Um, how much does food sell for? It's that one, right? So I, he sold to me for 14. Um, we could sell here for 19. We can make a little bit. Sure, I'll do it. Yeah, there you go. Done. Okay, let's get out of here. We're going back to Canaan. We'll pick our ships up in a minute. We'll stay dark. There is some exciting things going on over here. What is all this? Salvageable spots? Um, just old broken station. I'll do a little salvaging though. No, wrong one. High risk. We don't have any machinery. It's gonna be extra high risk. It's fine. We lost four people. That was not worth it. There is a small Lilic Path watchers. So the Pathers we don't like. Well, they don't like us. But we'll, we'll, uh... In fact, there's a Lilic Path fight going on right now against... There's a lasher right there. I'll go pick up a lasher. Well, I don't have really them. I can try to recover it. Ill-advised modifications. Um, no, nah, we won't mess with that. I don't have the fuel to be... Uh, whoops. I don't have the fuel to be messing around with this kind of stuff. Not sure who they are, but they're... Oh, a smuggler. Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. Okay. Back back to our destination here. Enough goofing around. We got a mission. Uh yeah, we'll turn transponder on. We're in we're in friendly territory here. Okay, so we're gonna go to Gilead. And have a chat with, uh, with, well, what's his face? Tell him we did the job. Well, we, we went and saw all those shrines, and we, we are moved by it. Complete the pilgrimage. Deorbiting the surface of Gilead is overseen by Knights of Lud. Yep. Um, so I am, I am blessed Captain Webbo Starpath, the attendant says. To invite you to complete the Pilgrim's Path on this day. How do you know of this? The faithful must know deep watch for what is coming, the attendant says with strange look, then almost, but not quite, smiles. I mean, not to sound so arcane, it's merely that our church has endured hard times and yet may yet again. Do you think hard times will come? I pray that they do not, the attendant says. We prepare for it if they do. Simple, a smaller path you are led down. Not the, hall, not the highway of humanity for the main shrine. This is a smaller secondary shrine in the lee of a crag dominated by an immense fleet. Offer tea and water. I like tea. That's the reason I'm here. Cast scented drops and says the words, though it is almost a blur. It's strange to have come so far for this. Around you flows a river of faith and ritual. Fellow pilgrims have chosen their purpose to pursue that of Lud's method, message. In the collective hardship of life in the Persian Persian sector, as in the collective hardships of the pilgrimage. Okay. They like me more. We're favorable now. I got a skill point. I got story points. Excellent. Return to my shuttle. Uh, um, 
Take a final breath of air, which, uh, of air rich with the exhalations of both the greenery and the mass of humanity. As your pilot swaps takeoff pings with traffic control, they pause for an unusual set of nav instructions, which are forwarded to your now retrieved data pad. You're being directed to a landing which serves as a huge monastic complex, some sort of church administrative, administrative center. The local data sphere is not forthcoming on details. It's difficult to say if this is a security measure or pious neglect. Now I'll go follow the route. Landing pad, you're met by a solemn look knight. A knight initiate stands a few paces behind, trying to match the ease and calm of the superior. Captain Wobo Starpath, the knight says, let me speak, welcome on behalf of the Church of Galactic Redemption. I extend to you an invitation from the Reverend Arch Curate Jaspis to meet and share refreshment. Tea? The knight stands aside, motioning in the uh, gauntlet to invite you to walk towards the administrative sir. Um, I'll walk with the knight. Led, to the, led by the knights through the gardens and the soaring arcades of Ludic Church architecture. Arcades? The knight follows behind, footsteps echoing between arched portals over slated tiles. Um, I won't say anything. I'm just a nice knight for a walk. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep quiet. You pass through wooden doors and halls carpeted with designs of foliage and fauna, presumably of old earth. A fawn, a whale, hawks, and dragons. Dragons. Circling in a blue sky wreathed with leaves of ivy oak, ivy oak and palm. The office appears relatively austere at first glance, but as they adjust, uh, my eyes adjust, we see paneling. Okay. A fountain and gardens. Hello, Sophrina Jaspis. Your Excellency, the knight calls out too loud. I thought they were talking to me. Uh, Jaspis turns towards you, closing a thick book. Come before me, Captain, she says. I would share with you a pot of tea and my hospitality. Knight, Elanthus, you have my thanks and may leave us be. I love tea. A metal carafe with a long handle stems, steams on a heated element. These people love tea. I'm just here for the tea. Forget the faith. I sit and have some tea. She takes the handle of the carafe of boiling water and, lo without looking, gaze still unfocused, fills the teapot. She's quite blind, you realize. I'll just let the tea seep. You made pilgrimage to the holy shrines of Lud. You have made affinity with a church and held compassion for the faithful. She picks up a teacup and idol taps the sign. In my right hand, I hold a hammer as my left is open for you to take, she says, quoting the book of Lud. The hammer has place alongside the heart. The office I am entrusted to has need of service of an actor of means and ability. More quietly, her voice has gone low and rough. A hammer. The arch curate places her teacup back on the desk, exactly where it was before, then pours tea into her cup and then into yours. I would be blessed to be in the service of the church. Doesn't get any better than that. The church, she says, might reward such zealousness. A wry smile appears. Would one place faith in the machinery of officers, of rules and letters, of who serves whom? I pray we do not grow our own demon of, in Lud's good name. Worry not, she leans back. My advantage, the advanced age allows me to say such things that could have a novice excommunicated. You want me to be your hammer? No, my hammer is, she nods in your direction, a humbler being by far than you. But he requires aid in his quests, and for that you may serve well. She sips some tea. Do understand that I speak not entirely of war and wrath. A hammer may strike subtly and quietly, even aimed with skill, wisdom, and, and piety. Uh, yeah, you have the Knights of Lud for this. She smiles. You have met the knights. You know full well that in all manners they will break rather than bend and name such waste. They will break rather than bend and name such waste sacrifice. I should not speak so broadly. However, there is one who was sent to me to serve his noviceship. He is the one I want to find. The archgrit carefully puts her hands together, not unlike a position of prayer. Yeah? My agent is a novice of the Knights of Lud. He was assigned to my office in order to achieve his knighthood. He infiltrated a cell of the heretical militant affiliated with the ill-named Ludic Path. I have not heard from him in some time. Yeah? He's important to you? Uh, if you accept this task from my office, my assistant will provide you with identity files to aid you in finding my agent. 
You will also be given a modest retainer to refund your efforts and more if and when you find them. You need not answer now. Pray on the matter or ponder if this is how you would name it. She turns back to the book she had opened with the when you entered. I have already decided. With such haste, she says, you need not play act enthusiasm to impress me. My opinion has always held that decisions of great importance should be given ample time to steep. Gift me now with silence. Oh, come on now, I don't want to wait. I want to do it now. All right, we got a comms ID for her, so we can talk with her anytime now. Well, while we're here, let's go visit the bar. We've got... And she's she's pestered about uh, pirate raids. We got an angry man in a suit. We got a uh, woman from the military offering bounties. What kind of bounties you got? I have several assignments in the docket. She looks down, scrolling her data pad. Uh, uh huh. I want something a little more manageable. And they're way out there. No, 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 no. Um. Pirate raids. Pirate raids. Or way out that way. Everything's so far away. Thousand credits per frigate if I just if I destroy them. No, we're not here for that. Um Let's go visit the shrine. This is what we tried to before and the guy kicked us out, wasn't it? We had to pay to get in. I think so. Alright. We'll get we'll let some days pass. Uh well, I guess what I, could, what I could do is I could go up and get my fleet back. Um I guess we can go up there, up there to, um, to Kazeron and pick it up. Um, I'm curious, if, if there's anything, like, they want us to take out, we can, we can check out. Um, there's that guy. How, we got 42 days remaining. We could run down there and get that guy. There's a convoy going over there. Carrying food. That one's complete. Um... You want me to go scan something? I could run down here and take out this fellow. We haven't done any fighting. So we could go check out. We could go do some do some fighting. Also, I leveled up. I forgot. So we can do this side and that over here now. Can I go over here? Oh, I can. I can go everywhere but here. Um, I don't have any um reduces ship maintenance. Could be good. Maximum reduction armor. Uh, I don't know. Less detection. I'll take this one. So we get um, extra burn level and increases our bonus of. Uh, it also gives us the transverse jump, um, which is kind of a nice one to use. Not my present fleet, but the fleet that I've got stashed away. I could I could take it out. Hmm. Actually, I don't know which one I'm going to do. It's just on my my, my ship. It's fleet-wide. Resource fuel consumption by 50% or 25 units, whichever is lower. I mean, that that's, that's probably pretty bad. Let's do that one. That's kind of what we're doing here. Yeah, every time I've played the game, I've always kind of done the sandbox thing. Um, you know? So I thought we'd do some story time stuff today and, and see the story missions. Um... Let me go pick up my fleet, and then we'll come back and chat with her. Um, and as far as opinions on this, I've never done... This is all new to me, so even before the update, this is new to me. I, I know this has been added to. I don't know where it's been added to, if it was... If some of this stuff is new, or if some of this... If this is all the new stuff, or it's later on it's the new stuff. I'm not sure. But there's been added story missions with these guys and also with the Sindrian, uh, the pink folk. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to Kazeron. Watch out for those asteroids. We like to run into those. Hey, TypeScript, how's it going? 
I even slowed down. I still ran into it. We got lots of uh, supplies and fuel here also. What do you want? Profile of a suspected smuggler? Smuggler? I don't think I have anything on me. I'll allow the scan. Nothing found. Vaguely displeased. Everything's looked clean this time. Yeah, leave me alone. You big bully. Okay, we'll pair of ships. Uh, to the dock, we're gonna go and... Uh, oh, we can sell these things. And I got three fuel left. So we should probably buy some fuel while we're here. We'll just gas all the way up. Uh, it's pretty cheap here. We need some supplies as well. Like that. Uh, we need some crew. Uh, well, hang on, hang on. Um, I'll sell those. I have stuff in storage. I forget. So I'll take back what I've, what I have, and I gotta get my ships. Um, I want you command that one, and this will be commanded by my other guy. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now, back over here, we'll grab, grab the rest of my stuff, and if there's anything we, anything we need, we'll, we'll grab it now. Plenty of that. And I'll go ahead and gas up the rest of the way. Okay. Now we're gonna we'll go back 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 down. There's nothing here we can sell here. That's worth anything. Um we can make some big money if we go back to that one spot. If we can get in there and try it. Five hundred bucks a piece. Either way, it's still a pretty good price. Not the worst. Um, should I try it? It won't be by that... I don't think it'll be by that spot anymore. Let's do it. No more cowardice. I can buy a ton. But that's a lot of... Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna spend all my money... This is a little risky, because we don't want to get hit. We don't want to get jumped. But it could also be very, very profitable. Okay, so we're going to go... We're going to get out of here and go here. Um, we're going to book it. Actually, improved. Improved, because of trade. Even though I did all that black market stuff. Turn that off. Uh, as soon as we get closer, we'll go dark. Pirates seem to want to fight me. I don't know if we can handle that. A cruiser? Do we go for it? I'm a little nervous about this. I'm going to attempt to disengage. They still pursued me. What do you think? I don't think we can... I don't know if I can handle this guy. We haven't fought yet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so... Um, they're going to chase me here, but what's, we're gonna do, what we're going to do is... We're going to set... I think we're going to put everyone on me. And we'll just sort of stick together, you know, like the Mighty Ducks or something. Hey, stunt man, how's it going? We're going to spin this fella around. Whoop. All right, it's fighting time with the old hammerhead. This might be kind of ugly whenever this big guy comes in. There's the big guy right there. I don't really want to fight him immediately. Get my uh, get my Star Sector fingers back, back working here. Um, I'd like to fight like... 
this guy first. If we can. I'm gonna take out those fighters he has. Like this guy right over here. Yeah, yeah, this guy. What is that all about? Ooh, my flux is building. Lots of flux. Okay, we'll bit. Let's vent that. Okay. If I had a tempest, I'd be all over this fight. Control two. Turn that one on. Oh, we got him. We got him. One down anyway. Got him. Sorry. Those of you trying to sleep right now. <laughs> it's my, my warning I usually give. I apologize for that. Nice. Okay. So we just have big man and a few ships over there. Put on some shields here because he's going to try to shoot me. Okay, this fella is... Let's go get Big Man. I'm not scared of him. I was worried. How cowardly of me. This flux is building pretty heavily. What's the order? Um... I want everyone to attack. Everyone, I forget. I forget my orders here. Everyone to harass. I want everyone to eliminate that guy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Let's. Oh, I shouldn't have vented that. That hurt a lot. I feel bad timing on the old vent there. <laughs> My ship's not looking too good anymore. I probably shouldn't lead this charge. Man, that hurts. Oh, now we got him. Now we got him. Now we got to go get him. Just out of range. Oh, he's so damaged. He's as damaged as I am. Those are bad. <laughs> Those hurt a lot. Is there another one? Is that it? There's a little guy behind us. There he goes. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go turn around here and um, say hello to this little guy that's following us. that out. Some good little guy over here. He's quick. Doctor, that's what that's what we're exploring today. I've never explored any any stories in this game. That's what we're doing today. Not like the story, but one of the one of these stories. Also, how's it going, Doctor? How you been? so slow. Got one up there also. I'm going to say you guys go get that one. The rest of us will stick on this guy down here. Split up the old forces. My ships I begin with was that I got this guy and I also have the oh, skull disabled. Uh oh. Anything right over there? Where's this guy going? Oh, I think he took off. Okay. Yeah, Space Raptor ran away. 
Space Raptor. Uh, they all, all the factions have storylines. Um, they're not all well developed. From what I understand. I've never done any of them. Is there another one out there? Oh, there we go. Okay. We lost Scold. So we can go recover Scold. We can try to recover Scold. Um, I can't get... That's an attack destroyer. Strike. Eh, I don't care that much about that. I do want to get... Puka. We got Puka. What was the name of these ships? We got Hot Trot, Unicorn, and Puka. We'll try to get Scold back. Do we want to try to get any of these other guys? <laughs> With names like this? We'll just take Scold back. Uh, oh, we're over on some things. We're over on a lot of things. Um, fine. Okay. Um, let's go. So we're going to continue on our flight, I guess. That's my cargo pods. They're going to take off. We want to, when we get here, we're, as soon as we get here, we're going to hit, we're going to go dark. Now, we want to go to Calcedon, which is not near where we want it to be anymore, because space. We're a lot more noisy than we were before. Actually, it's not, not that much noisier, actually. Some debris around here. We saw that before. Okay, we'll just slide on in here and make some money. Make some money and make some dad jokes. Um, let's see. So this duck walks into a bar. And he says, "Do you have any bread?" The bartender says no, and the duck walks out. Next day, the duck comes back and says, Do you have any bread? No, says the bartender, looking at the duck a little puzzled. The duck walks out the bar. The next day, the duck comes back and says, Do you have any bread? And the bartender says no, obviously a little cranky. And he says, If you come here and ask for bread again, I'll nail your flippers to the floor. The duck walks out. The next day, the duck comes back. And he says, do you have any nails? The bartender says, no. He says, well, do you have any bread? There you go. Let's make some money. 500 grand. I'm going to sell some guns as well while I'm here. Woo, we're rich. This, this, you know, I've <laughs> of all the times I've played this game, I've... I don't know that I've made this much money this fast. We're we're making all kinds of money. Lucky today. I had trouble last time. I guess I I guess I got to about a million after the first stream last time. But anyway, um, that joke quacked me up. <laughs> uh, we can go grab. This is twelve bucks for some crew. We can sell them at. I don't want to go to a pirate pace. I mean, I guess we can. Might be worth. Might be worth it. These things, of course, are expensive. Oh, I don't know. Um, what we do is we're going to go back and, and do more missions. I think that's what we're going to do. Next day, a goose walks in. What do you expect after duck, duck, duck? Oh, that's a good one, Master Lith. <laughs> okay, we're going back to Canaan, um, which is down. Not uh, expensive. Not an expensive place. And we don't we don't sell lemonade. I'm gonna look at it though. Okay, we'll take what we got and go back to, go back and make some money. Uh, anyone here want to chat? Some tattooed roughs to s and see if their contract is up. Yeah, Morgan. 
A couple of Mark's head around uh, orbital, orbital bombardments. Oh, you want to go? You want to go bomb somebody? What do we do? Atmo drops. After a couple of the mercs head up to order a round of orbital bombardments, the leader pulls you aside and sketches out a proposal. We got forty-two suits. We fight in vac or back or, or black. I'll give you our contract for twenty thousand. That giving it away. Oh, okay. You're gonna give me forty-two marines, basically. Um, yeah, I'll sneak you off. Sure. Hey, come on in. Uh, I'll take you. Can I sell you back? <laughs> sell you back over here? Oh, these guys are good. They're six hundred bucks a, a piece, and it's expensive here too. <laughs> is that is that the wrong thing to do? <laughs> These guys are, are uh, good Marines, so like if we want to go and, and if we were doing like taking planets and, and using our, our Marines, this would be good to have these Marines around. Um, what did I pay for them? 14000 I mean, we'll sell them on the black market. <laughs> you know. Just because I'm a devout doesn't mean I don't have to make a quick buck. Uh, we're going back to Canaan. And we're going to uh, fly out quietly, but not so quietly. <laughs> yeah, imagine their face after the trade. Talk about orbital bombardment. <laughs> okay. What do we want for this? This is always given the, the peak operating time. Um, this is for all officers. We get more nav ready, more command points. More weapon damage is always good stuff. Um, that's a good frigate one. That's Wolfpack. That's one. That's my, my, I always get, to get that one, but we're not doing that this time. Combat readiness for all ships. That could be good. Plus two flux dissipation per ordinance spent on weapons. Oh, you know what? That's not probably not bad. A prophet with a lobes for profit. That's right. <laughs> that should be the... That's the name of this video. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, we're going to Gilead. Again, our new... Our, our home. Ouch. And we're gonna go chat with this guy and get this uh, this mission done because what what do we start? Is it start on January first? Start this is start in March. Um, I don't think we have anything to sell. We're just gonna go open the comms directory and talk to you. Um, image of uh, her appears, and we are blessed blessed by the day. She says, "I've given your proposal some thought, and I'm gonna go." Well, uh, I'm going to we'll ask about it first. Holds her hands together and looks roughly towards the comm feed. Yes. Um, what if I can't find him? What if he's dead? I pray that you will find him. And if I have faith that Providence will provide your path. If you're thwarted, then I shall accept the records of your investigation in exchange for just compensation. If worse comes to pass, I have his body rece uh, receive a burial rite. It could be dangerous. Uh, he went amongst the wrathful and ill-led heretics of the so-called Ludic Path. If my understanding of your accomplishments is correct, then you have a full and fair idea of what you may face. Okay. Uh, payment? Uh, 25,000 bucks. 50,000 on return of the novice. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Closes her eyes and bows her head, hands held together. His name is Jethro Bornanew. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's a late initiate novice of the Lurk Knights. My assistant will provide you with identity in identity file. Novice born anew has infiltrated a cell of the heretical militants affiliated with the so-called Lurk Path. Got it. It's been far too long. Where was he at? Chalcedon. I've been there before. Uh, he wants to join some inner circle of the path. I gotta go back there. I was just there. If heretics must die to secure his release, she says, then do what must be done. 
Their blood will be washed away by that of the innocents, the seas and rivers that uh, the, these pathers have spilled. In the course of their heretical crusade, God will be your judge. You sound a little bloodthirsty when it comes to this path. Yeah, she sure does. I will find Born anew. Okay. Go find him. Got it. She gives me 25 grand. I get 25 grand bringing him back. Okay. Uh, deficit for those, but I'm going back there. I guess I might as well take some more. Oh, they're not, they're not, uh, there's no deficit there anymore. There is, though. It's just in a different, it's in a different place. Deficit here, too. Chalced Chal We're going to Chalcedon. We might as well stock up on some things. We could bring some more Marines in. I think we just bring more Marines in. Well, they seem to like going there, so we'll bring some more in. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go find no old, uh, old Jebediah. Jade Paladin. That's the perfect name for this stream. You're, you are welcome here, brother. All paladins are welcome in this stream. Ooh, a bounty. 62 grand for Mr. Football Helmet. Um, hang on. I forgot to uh, go dark. Okay, uh, back over here again. Getting tired of this place. The new missiles are mad. Are they? Are they, are they red ones? Because I, I don't remember seeing those red ones before, and that hurt a lot when it hit me. I don't know how to do a lot of avoiding either. We're going to do it now. See what I mean? How they're buzzing around? That's what, that's what the path does. Pathers. Pathers always buzzing around. Okay, good. Made it. Uh, we're going to go uh, dump some of these guys off. Make a little cash. And I guess we're going to go... Where do we find this guy? Who am I supposed to... To the bar? Find someone well connected to bribe for information on Born Anew. Drinking tea and asking around, eventually finding yourself at a table with Mammon's Man, a free agent who interfaces between Pathers and the outside world. You're aware he will sell any useful information that you uh, slip. Yeah. Um, just looking for someone who may have joined the path. He chuckles darkly, shaking his head. Captain Wubbo, this is Chalcedon. Everyone maybe has joined the path. Must be me more specific. You must trust me just a little. If you don't tell me what you need, I can't provide. Just looking for someone who recruits for the path. Looking for, he raises his eyebrows. There are many ways of looking for a person, you know. Some look to talk, some look to deal. Some look to kill. Um, That'll cost more, he says. I'm not looking for uh, uh, killing. Good, he says. Uh, I can set up a meeting for you and a friend. He gives you a, a look. Not a good friend, just not too close. 5,000 credits. Yeah, I can do this. I'll make an inquir inquiry inquiries. You will wait and come back after one day. Uh, tonight we we drink and celebrate. Sure, I'll drink. Tea. He makes for a good drinking partner. He has many stories and matches you for tales of scrapes. I don't have a lot of scrapes. Raises a hand to summon the proprietor again. Another pot of tea. Yeah, I'll take more tea. One pot turns into two and then three. A night spins. That's not tea. That's lemonade. A blur of sounds and light. Another drink bottoms up. Uh, I need to find the lav. You're wrapping up in your visit, uh, the quaint facilities, when you're grabbed from behind, a dark hood pulled over your head. You're dragged through a doorway, somewhat with dank, close air, then out into the cold night. There's a thrum of raindrops on awnings. Sharp, low words are exchanged between you, your, kid your kidnappers, and muffled cursing from beside you. Sounds like Mammonite. You're pretty sure he's not as... 
you're not as worse for the drink as he is. Pretty hard. Uh, hard to, pretty sure, hard to tell with your head in a bag. Draw your sidearm. No, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll draw my sidearm. You, you fumble for your sidearm and you find your holster empty. They must have grabbed it. A gunshot, barely muffled by the sack on your head, claps your eardrums. You don't hear the mammonite cursing anymore. The cold shock of dread sobers you. More low talking. You're dragged a short distance and lifted to your feet. We should speak face to face. You let the good walker see. Hood comes off. Been told you've been asking questions, a man says with a cheap smile. The tooth is missing, another crack to a point. He smells of mid mildew and sweat. Uh, this has a new... No, go for it. I want to I hear the new stuff. I'm Sedge. He graciously waves a hand to show you the dism, dismal alley you find yourself in. A slump form sitting in a puddle of its own blood. Welcome to my path. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're the recruiter? Is that what I am? He pauses a moment and then nods. It is more people find me. The mask of casual ease draws away to show you the ice-cold self-assured fervor in his eyes. What'd you kill him for? Uh, that? That got careless. That forgot that one does not speak easily of the path. The path is sacred. It does not belong in the mouth of a decadent heathen. Like that. I could kill you. <laughs> um. He drank too much anyway. He smiles again. You're welcome here with blessed peace and the hospitality of my people. I'm looking for Jethro. Hmm, Sedge looks away, making a show of thinking it over. No, do not call or recall a Jethro. Pulling blood is caught by a small stream of runoff. I'll show him a picture. I'll slowly draw your tripad and activate the Jethro file. Ah, he speaks without hesitation. Yeah, I remember now. He went to Mazalot. Why? Sedge considers the words for a moment. Uh, that man, his faith is true, but he did not know his path. A man could believe truly and not, um, that a man could believe truly and not know his path. I did not like to see that. I told him he had no place with us. I was told he worked for a time, then brought bought passage to Mazalot. Okay, no more questions. I could grab my sidearm and shoot Sedge in the back. I'm the good guy, but I gotta try it. You draw on fire. You shot reverberates in the alley. A sharp crack. Sedge drops like a bag of meat. Silence follows the echoing shot, broken only by retreating footsteps as his thugs flee the scene. I'll go check and make sure he's dead. You <laughs> his sightless eyes stare up at the translucent awning. He's smiling and dead. Well, the Ludic Path are a little more angry with me. You leave his body to return to your fleet. The path will know what to do with it. Uh, well, we'll stop. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that to be an option. Um, we'll leave the bar. Okay, we gotta go to, uh, let's, let's go to Mazalot. I don't know where that is. Uh, is that a system or is that a planet? What's that quest? He's up there in Zagan. Okay, there it is. Ah, Persion. Good. A Persian. Okay, we probably should get out of here. We did some shooting. Okay, let's get out of here. There was an exclamation point flying by a second ago. What was that all about? Maybe one of my one of my missions must be must be here, like a a bounty or uh, probably a um, probably like a hauler or something or a smuggler. Oh, yeah, turn it on. Okay, 
let's go visit the bar. We're gonna... We'll stop by the guy with robes first. What's he want? He wants to go to Beholder Station. She does. Um, I'll take... Well, let me see, let me see where I'm going first. Ask around to find old, uh, old Born Anew. Um, you know, I might have lost his thought on my information technology. Let's tech. Um, I'm in a hurry. 3,000 credits. Put me in contact with the Lodic Path. Okay. So, Captain Mobile Star, Mobile Star Path, by the power of the Maslot Unification Authority, you are charged with criminal conspiracy under the intel... Wait, 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 wait. Touch the data pad, the screen flashes a badge of... Uh, the one time I don't read it. The agent gives me a little smi a smile. You're charged with criminal and conspiracy under the interstellar terrorism statute of... He drones on in legalese. You consider your options. You suspect the reprisals for dodging out of this entrapment scheme will be taken at... Token at best. It feels like a credit rustling op to scam uh, naive spacers more than any kind of serious investigation. Make a punch in the face. Uh, I'm acting in behalf of the Arch Curate. Yeah? Well, good for Lud. He holds up his data pad, which blinks a flash at you with a quick hollow to register your crime. Maybe you can pay your fine with all those tithes you Luddites collect from little old grannies. <laughs> Another 5,000. Um, I'll raise my voice. I would think that the MUA would cooperate with a church investigation into pather activity. Hid's turn. The party at a neighboring table does a double take and decides it's now is a good time to pay the tab. He fixes you with his eyes and smirks coldly. I see what you're trying. Church doesn't run this polite, this polity. The league does. It stares at me unblinking. I'll maintain eye contact. His eyes stare at the dumb authority of a machine set to an aggressive aggression routine. No human connection. The fine, he says, is 5,000 credits. Fine. Stay safe, citizen. Um, that didn't get me anywhere. And she just wants to go back over there. That didn't get me anywhere. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, he's here somewhere. I've got to figure out how to find him now. No one here at the bar. Um, well, that didn't get me anywhere. Fill up the gas tank. Um, hmm. Take a look real quick at the fleet. I got a lot of cash. We we should buy a ship. We could buy this thing, like something big. Missile cruiser. I never fly giant ships, so um, I might need. Uh, um, I don't really know what I'm what I'm getting into with the big ships. <clears throat> uh, what's what are some of the new ones? What are the, the names of the new ones? We can get ourselves like a fast cruiser. Missile cruiser there. Heavy cruiser. It's a little damaged though. That's what I got right now is a destroyer. We'll go somewhere else and find something. Well, um, I'm gonna ask the. Should I ask the main guy? I'm looking for Jethro. Born anew. Sounds like a luddy. I'd say check the public directory, but I guess he'd be one of those that thinks it's the Book of Moloch. Uh, enough problems. Okay. Yeah, he didn't want to help. Maybe we'll ask the quartermaster? You don't know him. Who's in charge of the Lutic path around here? Lutic? Don't mess with those types. You're on a terrorist list. Um... Uh, you... I'll, I'll pay. I'm just talking... Just words. Ask anyone. Right. Try the portmaster. Looking for a man involved with the Lytic Path. Mm, Lytic Path may be involved. Look, I can see where this is going. I don't believe it's a good idea. Very important. His name's Jethro. 
Sorry. Captain, I received unusual communications which I thought should be brought to your attention. Someone who claims to work for a man named Virens come to invite you to a meeting. He did not at first think to bring it to your attention until the details could be verified. We verify the details. It turns out one Niall Virens of the local branch of the Lodic Path, though none of the mainstream media or data outlets state this apparently unspoken by agreement fact. Runs a number of charities. Difficult to read between the lines, just dangerous. Okay. Almost shocking that Virens hasn't been arrested already, but his status as a political minefield for Mazala Unification Authority. Okay, yada yada. Um We gotta go talk or talk to or raid them. Prepare for a raid, take a shuttle down, visit the, we'll take it we'll take a shuttle down. We'll we'll face face him like a man. Or something. Uh, you admire the atmospheric display from the resulting magnetic fields. We'll go down. A pair of militants wearing dusk masks. Uh, meet you, dust ma dust masks. They're armed, but not conspicuously show. So, Webo Starpath. Please, your weapon. He indicates. Uh, I'm not here to shoot anyone. The guards glance nervously at one another. Gives a hiss, and they shut up. Please, if you would, he says. He'd be a guest of Brother Viren's. All right, all right. Leads uh, a little old bow, a place of honor, at least visible demonstration that he's going to keep a close eye on your gun. There's a quick one-two knock on the doors, and they swing open. Air is cool, walls hung with cloth woven in bright patterns. Wooden furniture prevails. Um, earthy scent hangs in the air. Underwhelming compared to the palaces of Eventide or Tritachion executives. I haven't been there. Led upstairs, wooden, creakily unsettling, uh, to a room overlooking an interior courtyard garden. Blessed peace upon you, says Vile, or Nile. The man says, I'm Nile. Finally crafted table is set with a tea set. I love tea. Simple in form and painted with delicate natural motifs. You are gaining a sense of for the quality of tea by the scent hanging in the air after boiling water is freshly pure. It's got to be Earl Grey. That's the good stuff. I'll sit and drink. Pours two cups. After you do, he holds a cup up for a moment and inhales the steam. You're a lot more polite than Sedge. <laughs> Dumb. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He was not a polite man, nor pleasant. Quite driven. I know Sedge to be cruel and to be cruel. Though you are my guest here, and perhaps because you're my guest, I feel that I must demand an answer from you. I ask you this, Wobo Starpath. Why'd you kill him? Um, I didn't like him. That's why. It's easy to dislike a great many people in a great many circumstances. Sedge perhaps easier to dislike than most, I must admit. Death is not a thing to administer lightly. You are certain he has made such administrations himself. Oh, let's talk about other things. I'm looking for Jethro. Yeah, I know. I have met this man. I know where he is. Um, I'll let it hang. He knows what you want. With a small amused nod, Virens acknowledges that you've left the gap in conversation for him, not you, to fill. Hey, tea kitty. You're welcome to the welcome to the tea stream. I feel that I have some responsibility to born into you. See, Virens flicks a non-existent speck from his teacup. Not for him in particular, but the, for courtesy, shall we say? My meeting with him was brief, and I found no business or acquaintances since. He did, however, tell me that. He was sent here. Why he was sent here? By who? I would not wish to direct you to him if your intentions were unkind. Um. Whatever his mission was, it's over. Arch Curate is worried about him. I see. Looking into the courtyard, thinking for a long minute, he turns back and deliberately slips some tea. I think you should speak with Bornu yourself, he says. I shall have my man give you the coordinates. Um, thank you, and for the tea. Well, why are you helping me out? You know a little of the path, Spacer. The path provides something that nothing else will. Not Kezeron, not the hegemony, certainly not the Mazalot Unification's authority. Sets his teacup down firmly, and there's a sad fervor in his eyes that you didn't see before. 
Love's message shines bright in the dark of space, in the shadow beneath the boots of power. Not even the church can contain it. Path is not all one thing, Spacer. Nor is the church. Remember that. Pause is halfway to catch your eye before facing the courtyard. My man, fear not. We'll see you out. What kind of names you guys getting here? Okay, let me give him my gun back. And... Um... Uh, okay. I'm going to take a shuttle over to Borna News coordinates. We'll do a scan real quick. Location is likely populated, poorly developed. Ruler at rural area. Okay, let's go there. Descend smooth. It lands, kicking up a cloud. Before you is a prefab hab. Corroded, leaking irrigation system. On the flight in, the shuttle sensors tagged a living human figure in the sheltered grove nearby. You follow a path toward the grove. I thought it was a grave at first. Protected, protected from the parching winds by a low rise, it seems the trees planted here collect almost enough moisture to survive. A new run of ceramolith pipe flows the trail of the grave. Like someone wanted to water the trees. Hey, Jethro! Speckled by light filtering through thin leaves, you find a large man in a long, dusty, hooded coat. Almost a robe is back to you. There are a handful of loaded grave markers here. Look well maintained. His, the man's head is bowed, his hands clasped in prayer. Jethro? Yeah, I'm Jethro born anew. He looks over your uniform and passed you toward the ridgeline. Came a long way, Captain. Did you lose someone? No. Never met them. Not when they were alive, I mean. This farm, what's left of it? They built it. Why does Jaspers want you back so badly? Uh, Rev um, the Reverend Arch Curate, he says automatically. Sorry, uh, habit, they really drilled into you in the church. Told me I could call her Sophronia, Sophronia, if I was family. She wants to charge the path, she wants to change the path of the faith, I believe. She believes I can help her do it. Mm, you're just one person. So was Lud, he says. Catches himself and wipes his eyes. Forgive me my blasphemy. I do not believe I am Lud. I do not hear God's words in the songs of angels. Mr. Bean, yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened to the um, what happened to the path? You infiltrating it. I failed, he says. After a moment, he speaks again, and I confess I wanted to fail. After meeting the recruiter on Chalcedon, shakes his head. Sedge? Yeah, he looks surprised. That was his name. I didn't like the man. I didn't like the things I would have would have to do to make him like me. He seemed to be someone I might have been if I'd lived a different life, walked a different path. Um, but you're not him. That's why Jasper wants you back. He gives you a skeptical look. That worries me all the more. That's your farm? Yep. Discovered I'm a poor farmer, Captain. Everything withers at my touch. Can I, can I call you Jeff? If you like, I could have found you dead here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good. I could be a nice guy. Well, I gotta... Oh, what do I do? Do I help the arch person? Or do I help this guy? Brother? Oh, yeah, what's his name? The, the corpo guy from, um, from Aliens. Um, Paul Reiser? Um... I don't know. I'll see where it goes. I could I could have found you dead here, Jethro. Look, he turns to stare at you with strange intensity. I he begins with his words catching the throat. He breathes heavily for a moment, almost unsteady on his feet. You feeling all right? Let's his breath out and almost, but not quite. Casually wipes a sleeve across his face. His eyes are red. You see. Yeah, I am well. Is your offer serious? You would do this thing for me? Um. Yeah, I just need a body to substitute. No, he says with sudden ferocity. Catches himself and begins again, more calmly. And don't forget about all that. I'm coming with you to Gilead. All right. 
Why would I call him Jeff? I'm not calling him Jeff. Let's go. Okay. Uh, while we're while we're heading over there, we should take a look and see if anything is going to Gilly uh, to. Um, what is it? Canaan. There's anything, anything, any good deals going to Keenan? Mm, let me take some of that. Oh, that's a hundred bucks a piece there. Yeah, we could, we could take some, some heavy armaments to Keenan. As well, that's where we're going anyway. Um... Yeah, we gotta take those people. We gotta take what's her face there too, don't we? Um, and the black market stuff is it's expansive. I'll pay it, but I'm not. I'm not happy about it. So yeah, we're just, we're just going there. We'll, we'll see what we can make out of that. Um, I think I've got enough supplies and enough fuel for the old trip. So back over here to Keenan. Chasing me out of here. I think I'm doing better. I'm making more better money here this way. Just from I mean I guess we're I guess we're just doing trade. Trade is really what's what's making us money. I'm making money. I'm not making money doing any of these missions. Just the trade really. But yeah, I think it's you make a lot more money doing that than um, scavenging. But I, th I, I suppose you could probably have a pretty profitable way. Like if you get good scavenging ships and the scavenging skills, you could probably make some good money doing that. It's a sa it's pretty safe because you just go around, you wait for a fight. Whenever a fight hits, then you go you go for it. Uh, you just jump in and clean up, basically. That's a big bounty. That's why when I first looked at that, that's what I was thinking. I could have found you dead meant that I, like, shoot the guy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it means that I'm being nice to him, obviously. <laughs> okay, um, we'll take a, with him, take a shuttle with him to the surface. To Jaspis. Watch the green world of Gilead grow below you. How you doing, Jethro? Apprehensive, I confess. I believe I shall be punished by the knights. Though the Reverend may try to shield me, I shall ask her not to. An oath is an oath. I mean, much silent contemplation and scrubbing of floors. Okay. Uh, the knight leads me into the office. Born anew takes his treatment in stride. Judgmental silence is what's going on here. As I enter, uh, they announce me. Jethro, here you are, she says. Providence provides. Looks out a cough, and Jaspis responds by waving him away. As well, I must attest, by the way of efforts of the good captain whose footsteps I hear also, she says, smiling, for lest we forget, the path of the righteous will not walk upon itself. Is that not so? Uh, takes, she takes, or he takes Jaspis' small, frail hand of his own. Yes, I, of course, please, mother. Sophronia, you must not get too excited. It's just me. And I have caused you much distress. Yes, and truly, she says, shaking Born anew off. And for it, you've already decided to undergo some senseless display of penance. And no doubt, I doubt not, an unseemingly habit learned from the knights. Captain, she turns towards you. You must grow tired of this, so I shall be succinct. You have my deepest gratitude. My secretary shall see that you receive your payment. Good luck, Jethro. Hey. Oh, there we go. Any more, um... Uh, oh, there's some, um, demon shouting going on, and, and, uh... I think I'll leave this, this, uh, this place. I could yell that by nights. Um, we can see if she has another, um, job for us. I gotta wait, I gotta wait before I talk to her again. Okay. Make a little money here real quick. Like 20 grand. Um... You, what kind of shit? Oh, 
You know what we could do? Um, yeah, let's, uh, well, let's, we'll see what kind of ships we can buy here. Ooh, look at that thing. Battle cruiser. For how much? I could buy that right now. It's a little busted. Anything else good in here? Eradicator. These are these condors are always pretty good. There's a strike. I saw before. I'm gonna get a big ship and I'm gonna get it blown up. I just know it. Um let's go. I just what I want to do. I want to go and com directory. We're gonna talk with you. And should I be commissioned by the church? Should I do that? Let me go and before I jump to that. There's a bounty man down here. Oh, you're that guy. Okay. Wait, you you are a pirate. I'm not gonna go hunting those kind of people. Um, I want to go. I want to get. A, I do want to get a big ship. Oh, I'm getting pursued. Um, okay, I'm getting. I'm getting. Getting pursued. We need a. We need a run away for a minute because we did a little bit of black market trading. Let's run down here to Asher. Um, I'll allow the scan because I think I sold everything. Oh! Vessel flagged for inspection due to overall suspicion level. They didn't find any contraband, but there was enough suspicion in my black market activities that patrol commander is not appeased by this. It went down by five. I'll allow the inspection. Took a little bit of combat readiness. Okay. I should, uh, I should have I should have used my story point. Yep. Should use a story point. Let's go bounce over here real quick and see if we can find anything in this other this other system down here. The man who ordered the cadet to apprehend you. What? Uh, you duck past notices, encouraging temper. Uh, enter the bar. Someone playing a string instrument. A nervous cadet holding a drink approaches you. Uh, Captain, a uh, man over there wants a, wants a word. Yeah. Just in common tech. Uh, Captain Mobile Starpath, he says, my superiors recognize that your unique talents serve our faction. We need an agent extracted from a pirate colony on dawn. Let me go over there and get you, get your guy back. Intel and defenses. You need 30 Marines to carry off the operation. Oh, you want me to go and raid that place and get that guy? Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I haven't got some action. I'll get some action. Uh, probably need a... Well, we got plenty of fuel. Probably use a few supplies. And... Ooh, heavy armaments are cheap here. Ooh, I can make some big money. Yeah, yeah. Um... Let's make some big money. A lot of taxes. But I'm not going to do any more contraband stuff. For right now. We'll do it a little later. Um, I will check to see if they have any ships we can buy. Okay, nothing. I don't know what I want. I just want something that's not broken. Okay, well, let's go get that guy. Uh, where's that mission at? Let's go get those people. Oh, yeah, you want to go to that station, too. Which one? A beholder station? I had to sneak in there, though. I'm sure we'll be back there in no time. We're going to go over there. Yep. Uh, to Dawn. Let's go to Dawn. I got to pick up... Did I have Marines? Did they give me Marines? It didn't give me Marines. Hang on. I think the mission might have given, given me Marines, but it did not. So how many do I need? It said 30. I need 30 of them. That should be enough. <laughs> I think the looted quests are separate from the warp gate thing. I'm pretty sure they are. Warp gate thing is kind of like a main, a main story.
We'll do a little little pirate raiding. I'm fine with that. We may get attacked by some pirates, which is okay. We can we can shoot them as well. Um, with all my money, I should buy a ship. I don't know what to buy. I really like Tritachion ships, but I don't really care. I'm, I'll take anything. It's quite a fleet. Space dust out here. Okay, so we're gonna go to dawn. Um, do we want to go and get more ships? I think, I think we just go straight there. I needed thirty marines. We got forty-four, so that's plenty. Just do the mission. When we get closer, I probably should turn off my these. I'm not sure it's necessary. But we'll do it. Okay, so we can do our military options. This is how we do it. Let's do it. Uh, raid. And we want to... This one, other objectives. And we want to get... Marine Extraction. Okay, Marine Commander submits a plan for your approval. 44 Marines. We can make it We can keep, make it secret. We're spending a story point. Won't affect our staying with the pirates. We don't care. Pirates hate us anyway. Launch that raid. We lost two Marines. We, uh, we got... I'm assuming we got the guy. You feel a twitch through your plates as the assault shuttle docks. You nod your, nod your approval. And we got old Asher. We got to go back to uh, that same spot we were at before. Okay, let's get out of here. Easy peasy. I'm gonna run here real quick. This has been the most, I don't wanna jinx anything, but this has been the most like peaceful playthrough I think of Star, Star Sector I've had in a long time. We haven't had really any issues. We've been just doing our job. We're, Keep our nose down and and praise Lud. Okay. I guess we can just sort of hang on to these Marines. I don't know what we'll do with them. Um Yeah, I was supposed to go this this stuff. I forgot I was supposed to drop that stuff over there. But it's a pretty good price here. So we'll just drop it off here. I forgot that was the uh, that was the <laughs> I forgot that was the plan. <laughs> Let's drop those off. Um and we'll look and see what we can get over there, but I do want to go and see if they've got some ships, because I do like their ships, so we're gonna take a peek at what they've got, like a like a fury. Um some omens. Medusa. I don't want any of these. Plasma microburn system allows for you to make small dashes at high speed. That could be kind of nice. Let's see if we can find something bigger. Uh, we're going to go back. Oh, I don't know. Where should we go? We could try cool on and see if they've got some something we can buy a good ship we could buy I'm gonna go back to, to Gilead to finish that quest we probably should take something we should probably take something to Canaan since we're going that way anyway We could stop stuff like on the way, but um, let's just do the easy, easy missions. Well, I say that nothing's going to Canaan. Nothing cheap's going to Canaan. 
Well. Anything going that direction anyway? I don't have anything. Nothing's, nothing's too cheap here. Um, we could go to we could go to Eldfell and Thule on the way there. Not, not a lot of money, but it's something. Yeah, we'll go there. Stop by Thule. Might as well. I, no point not making any money. We could stop off and drop off um, our guest. Who really wants to go visit that shrine? And who are we to say no? That's our job, you know? That's what we do. Um, reduce because of our black market trade. Uh, I got some story points. I've got 16 of those things now. I got a ton of those story points this, this way. It's a, um, a reflection or whatever. Space reflections. Mourn. All right, we'll go to Eldfell down here. Oh, I failed it. Okay, sorry, Hope. She's like, you can just let me off here, and we just open the airlock. That wasn't a good deal. I made, like, no money there. Um, I just want to see what kind of ships you got here. These are no good. Ooh, a Tempest. How bad is it? Compromised hull, sensor array, degraded engines. It's not good. It's slow, broken. <laughs> it's not good. We could try to fix it, but fixing it's going to be cost just as much as, as buying a new ship. I love the Tempest. My favorite ship. But I'm not here to fly t t uh, tiny ships. I'm here to I'm here to fly big ships. Take a quick look here. Okay. We'll just just run to where we're going. Somebody out there? Yeah, there's pirates out there. Big, big pirate fleet. We're ending near end of stream time, so we're gonna see what what this next quest is here. And um, it's nothing too exciting. We're gonna go out and we'll go we'll go take out a bounty or something. We're gonna do some shooting. Been far too peaceful today. I'm getting all itchy. Uh, where is this guy? There he is. There you go, buddy. Done. Okay, we're gonna go ahead up to the other place. And uh, get something exciting, get some fighting going on with garbage ships. Yeah, nothing new here. Because we can get that terrible thing. I don't know. <sighs> so, um, I'm trying to lose weight. And uh, I give this guy, uh, this guy Leonard, some money. And um, he provides the food that I eat. But after a couple months, I haven't dropped a single pound. I'm starting to think that this, this paleo diet is a scam. 
paleo. Paleo diets. May have emphasized that wrong. You, you get it. What's going on over here? Pather? I'll go shoot him. Let me get in on this. Privateer, my... Oh, yeah, we got... This This is not even a fight. I want a real fight. Uh, let's let's go to Gilead real quick and see what we can do. Forget all that nonsense. Let's go to Gilead. Let's see what our mission is. And hopefully it's a mission to go kill things. That's what we want. What do you want? Why are you following me? Why are you, why are you following me? What do you want? Cargo scan? These aren't the lemonade you're looking for. I thought we were friends. Just do the occasional black market trade every once in a while. Short time. Give me more missions. Hard drinking spacer. You gonna sell me a, a freighter? I don't want it. Okay. Um, let's go out in in style here. We're gonna we're gonna use a big ship if we can find one. Uh, not that big. There's a carrier, but it's very broken. Fast fast cruiser, fast cruiser. These aren't the biggest ships. Ooh, tempest. Okay, I I know I said no little ship. I can't resist oh, one tempest. Um. Oh. How bad? This thing is ruined. Things are all... <laughs> I don't know what you mean. So the delivery was... was made, the, made the joke even better. <laughs> okay. Let me go find a big station here. That's church. We're gonna go shoot some uh, churchies, <laughs> uh, some church people. I can't find a good ship, a big ship anywhere. I'll stop over there real quick. See if we can get a pick up a big ship, and go shoot some things. We're gonna get, we're end of stream time, and uh, all we've done is like play delivery boy today, delivery boy that prays a lot. And um, I need to shoot something. So we're going to shoot something. I suppose we could we could stop off at the pirate base real quick on our way, you know, on our way over here. The ship there, derelict. You engaged in battle right now. I would like to buy. I don't want that. The other option we have is I'm actually fighting the starbase. You know what? Yeah, I'll help you out. Let me let me add it. I can't join the battle. Why? I'll join the battle. Take, let's go take out a starbase. Okay, starbase fighting. I'm gonna deploy every, everybody, everybody except for my for my tanker. Okay, let's go. Here we come. Everyone's coming in. That's the independent folks, and they're fighting this pirate base, and we are here, there, and back again, huh? take this thing out. I really like that ship and I might switch over there, but I'm going to keep the hammerhead here for a minute. Which actually might do better against this, this star base. Where is it? These are always fun fights. Ooh, that's a big guy. That's what I want. I want a big guy. Don't 
turn my uh, my harp those things on auto. There he is. It's so pretty fighting these things. This guy's gonna hurt a lot, so I'd rather him not shoot me and shoot other folks instead. But let's get him. Whoa! The flux just went out. Oh! Wow! 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 wow. Go vent a little bit. Ooh, he's going down. Blast him! Ammo feeder is F, right? Yeah. Does that? Yeah. My special ability is an ammo feeder. Ammo feeder, so I shoot. I shoot faster. That guy's doing it there. Oh, sorry, buddy. Boom! That wasn't so bad. Okay, pick through some wreckage. We got some stuff. Look at that. Okay. Ouch, ouch. These are some of our supplies over here, but we're going to go stop by the station real quick. Um, what do you got? So, yeah, see, this is where I could go, and if I join the the Persian League, Persian, Persian, Persian League, I could, I could get that. Uh, we can buy an Eradicator, um, fast cruiser. Sure, I'll buy one of these guys. Yeah. And then we're gonna go refit this fella. And the worm, he calls him. Okay. Outdated. What do I want on this thing? So we can do these things individually. I I'm really don't know what... I'm not familiar with a lot of this stuff, so I can, like, throw in whatever I want in these spots. And being able to manage how many capacitors, how many vents, all the different mods you have built onto this thing, there's certainly a science to it, and I don't, I don't have it. Um, I know a little bit of it, but I've, I've still not messed with it enough, so I'm just going to set it up as that. Um, no capacitors. Missile racks. I'll just stick with the assault, I think. So it gives me lots of capacitors and vents. Uh, is there anything in here we really want with this thing? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm, I, the worm is great. Yeah. No, oh, no, we're, we're going to call it... The Bob Ross. Why is caps lock on? Okay. All right, Bob. Let's go shoot something. We're gonna go and find some pathers. There's, we can go. To, we can go to Chow Sedan. There's plenty around there that we can shoot. Uh, if we had a bunch of Marines, we could like maybe take a place. That sounds even cooler. Um. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I helped you. Um, if I transplant her off, is that why they're pestering me? I could buy some Marines. Let's just load up on Marines and go over there and take one of those places for the church. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we're going to go. This one is, is a little smaller. I think we're going to go take out... It'd be kind of nice if we could take Chalcedon. It's a level 5. It might be a little much for us. It'd be cool if we can get Chalcedon, though. You know, of all the places. That's the place to go. Let's get over there. Let's go get a... Um... Whoa, don't go to the sun. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Don't go that way. Get away from the sun. Go. 
I'm going to stop at, uh, well, there's Beholder Station right there. Let's stop over here first. Persian League. Get it, get it. If we need, we, if we need, we can get a bigger ship and maybe take out a station. I believe they have a little one. What have you got? That's nothing. Oh, wait. Mmm. Buffalo, a couple wolves. They got a mule. These aren't any good. I will buy, uh, I'll buy the Vanguard. I do like a good wolf. Take a garbage freighter. It's just for one fight. One fight. We may be losing a bunch of folks here, but we're just for one fight. I'll take it though. I like omens. Okay. And I'll take the buffalo just to be just to be a distraction, basically. Okay, now we want to refit. Um, that guy's fine. I'm just gonna fit him out. The Star Witch, good name, good name. Electronic warfare here. Uh, your fighter support sounds good. I don't have suitable fighters here, so I guess you're gonna be you're gonna be support. Use that extra point there. Um, there's no fighters here to to fit you up with. So I'll leave you there. And this is going to be the one I want to be controlled by me. This fella here. Okay. Okay. Oops. Need some people. We got cheap here too. Take of that. I'm going to need some supplies. I think it's cheap here. And uh, they don't have any Marines here. No Marines? No Marines. I'll buy a few more supplies because I'm worried about... Um, is there a change? Is this changed? I don't recognize the change with that. I got all this. I bought all the supplies, right? Uh, I'm gonna dump this stuff on you. Oops. Okay, supplies purchased. Um, plenty of fuel. Okay, we can stop by here and maybe pick up a few more supplies, and might be able to refit and put some fighters on here. These guys might actually have some. Just a quick stop over here while, before we do this big mission. Um, they do have some, but it's expensive. I don't know if I want to buy that. Um, I will. Pick up more Marines. Spending all my money here. And you guys really have nothing. Why do you have such bad stuff? Alright. Oh, wait, wait. I was going to see if I can refit things. Probably not. Who was it? You? Yeah, nothing there. That one. Okay. 
Let's go to Chalcedon. Okay, it's war. War fighting time. I don't know if we can do this. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we are strong enough for taking this thing out. But we're going to try. I think they've just got a couple ships around. Defenders are refusing to give battle to defend the colony. What does that mean? I can try to value, uh, get valuables. I can disrupt up here operations. How do we like... Um, hang on a second. We can, we can bomb them. Destabilize them. If I want to capture the place, I don't know how to do that on this one. Normally, it pops up, capture the place. I don't care about any of this bit, any of this stuff. I want to shoot somebody. Here comes some right now. Um. Well, let's go. Do we know if they have a... We could try going here and see if they can do anything. If they want to fight. Surely somebody wants to fight me. Seven. We can't handle a seven. We could probably handle this one, though. We could try. That's church. We, don't want, to, we want to fight them. Those are the good guys. <laughs> They're both green. We can try that. I don't know. buzz over here and see if we, we can take something. I forget how, like before I've always tried it, when I've taken planets it's been with my own faction, but I'm, I maybe we need to be um, allied with our people first before we do that, because we're not actually working for them no station in nearby fleets to defend it do orbital bombardment. Let me try something real quick. Let me see if I can. Let's go over here. Actually, maybe I'll do it here. Um... Mm... Yeah, we'll just head over there. Can I contact you elsewhere? Interesting to try a um, a path playthrough. Play as like become part of a path. That would be interesting. Okay, let's start by Gillian. We're gonna go join in. We're gonna go become part of the church. Uh, fight for them. Leave me alone. Okay. Um, Com directory. we we'll talk with... Do you have anything yet for me? No. So yeah, I like to be commissioned by the church. You have proven your works. You're proven your faith through good works. Except the commission is a serious matter. You'll be required to fight enemies of the church. Yeah, uphold the eleven virtues. I love it. Pirates, Tritachion, and Persian, Persian. Forty thousand monthly stipend. I accept. Okay. Tritachion and Persian League now hate me. It certainly causes some problems. Um. So now, I'm going to see if we can go here and see what we can do with this. Another Persian League. Android Dagon doesn't like me. Oh, I guess they must have... They, they, just, they just ended the war, so Tritachion is fine now. Good. One less problem.
200,000. They must have quite a fleet. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there's no one to engage, so I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Interesting. I guess I haven't tried that before. This is where we just were when we were fighting the pirates, wasn't it? And nothing they, they can do to stop me. Well, I want to fight a space station. Hey, Marin, how's it going? Defenders to engage. Um, okay, well. There's a pirate base there we could try to take. Is that where we just were? That one? Let's go there. If there's a star base, then we can, then we can hit it. I don't know how to, how to conquer it. I've done it before, but I've always done it as my own faction, and I don't know if... I'm sure there's a way of doing it with as you're teamed up with a faction, though. I don't remember how to do it. I think it, I think it will fry your old save. I think it did say that. Uh, at least it fries... At least if it's modded, it will. Okay, so here we go. So there is a there's a star base there. Um, that's size seven. We can, there's no way we can handle that one. So if we can we can engage the station. I don't know that we can handle this with what we've got, but we're gonna try. Let's do it. I'm gonna send everybody except for the tanker and deploy away okay uh we probably should have some sort of uh we'll worry about tactics when we get there so my thing is i can i have a i can burn a, a drive thing let me turn that one on auto fire side to twos where two straight ahead threes over no threes there i'm gonna turn yeah one's on auto fire i'm gonna i'll just command this one how many ships we got? Okay, nothing, nothing to worry about here. This may completely destroy me. I may, maybe it would have been a good idea to save before I got into this. <laughs> Perhaps. Save is for cowards. And you saw how big a fleet we needed before for the other, the other one. So this might be. A little foolhardy. But I suppose we'll find out. Use my big ship. I never use my big ship, so we're going to use one today. It's semi big. If we can get him to build flux up. And we may have to put everyone on all out assault, might be the way to do this. Um, that's what I might actually do. There goes, there goes one of my buffaloes. Oh, you like, like right now, we say. Get him. Um, because his flux is down. Ah, so mine. Oh, ouch. Oh, ow. 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 <laughs> I'm going to get blown up. Oh, oh. Man, that hurt. Uh oh. I was <laughs> wasn't expecting more missiles to come. <laughs> I guess I won't fly that ship anymore. Um, you know what? The Tempest is a great ship. I think we might have just lost this one because of, because of that. Okay. I love the Tempest. Let's see if I can stay alive. Oh, we got one, three on. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll fire one. I wasn't watching. Okay. 
That's right. Saves for people expecting to lose. Which is me. His flux is high. Um, man, he, he my, this ship doesn't doesn't handle much. You doing anything to this thing? Where are you going? Miss down, little fighters. Hmm. I think this might be um, not going to happen. My ships? Yeah, that was the Star Witch. Man, I can't even get close to the thing. Woo! Uh oh! Uh oh! Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna happen. Omens, oh, this. <laughs> it disabled. What we got left? Oh, it's the two of us? Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to run away. Retreat. Yep, yep, yep. No chance. That guy's going to be done for, too. All right, let's run away. Run away. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Well, I got my Tempest still. <laughs> oh, what a sad, sad turn of events. What a sad and expected turn of events. That's right. That's true. Who needs anything else? Why aren't we re all right, why aren't we retreating here? Oh, he made it out. Oh, good job, buddy. Hey. Good. I didn't even see you in there. Well, we saw actually we have the two ships that matter and we have the tanker still there. So that's no big deal. Um 550 crew and 140 marines were lost. That kind of hurts a little bit. We can we can raid them, and um, you know make a make a deficit in something, and so we can go make some money on this thing. But uh, you know what? I think we've done enough. Um, we may have done enough. Plan downsizing is what that was exactly, exactly. Uh, we can bomb some things also, but that makes people mad when you bomb stuff. I think we'll just do a little uh, a little salvaging of our own of our own ships. Poorly. Uh, okay. What a way to end the stream. We didn't go out with a whimper, but with a bang. I've never. Am I over supply? Yeah, I'm over supplies. I don't think I've ever. Um, I've never gone... I've never had a big ship. That doesn't really count as a big ship. It's a medium ship. 
Never had a big ship and, and, and kept it. I always get it blown up. Just kind of a guaranteed thing. Anyway, uh, it's my bedtime. So I'm going to call it a day. And we'll, um, we'll have, oh, so those guys off. I guess. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll toss them in there. Just to kind of keep it all evened out. I'll resupply myself, so if I do come back to this, at least I, I'm not in a terrible position. I'm actually not in a bad spot. We spent a lot of money. I squandered a lot of cash, but um, we're actually not in a bad place. Um, I lost my fleet that I just bought, so I lost. That was like 300,000 credit cost there. But um, we're, still, uh, we're still in good shape. So let's call it a day. There is Star Sector. Star Sector is one of my favorite games ever, and uh oh, uh, I would happily play. I'd happily just play Star Sector every week, but I got I got other things to play. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. We saw the new update. We saw some storylines. Uh, I don't know how much further that storyline goes. I have no idea. Um, if I if I I'll look it up and if I see a lot there's a lot more stuff with that Ludic Church storyline we may come back and play some more just to see it, but um, no promises. So we'll call it a day here. Thanks again for hanging out tonight.